I've only ever been in love once. Uh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Yeah, I told you I don't need a code name. How about Evil Queen? Hmm? Hmm? What? I'm supposed to call you Mike? Come on. Aren't you supposed to be likable? Eh, I'm kind of going for a screw, right? It's my new A squared bud. All right, let's just have you run through your legend so I can take this box and we can proceed. Okay. I am David Jones. I'm 28, which is pushing it. But beards and t-shirts are a good look on me. I grew up in Detroit, but I moved out when my parents died, bummed around a bit. Grew up fast, had fun, and ended up in L.A. where I sold t-shirts on board walking pants. And without meaning to, I became a producer at a video company making schlocky movies. But I made a decent earn. And last year, a good friend of mine uh, died from an accident. And I decided that I was going to start taking things a little more seriously. I decided that I wanted to help make the world a better place. So I moved back here to Ann Arbor to reconnect with the younger, more pure version of myself and also get away from all the bad influences who had my number in California. I think to not be directly engaged in fighting for environmental causes today is a kind of more cowardly. So it's easy to forget that the rest of the world exists when you're in L.A., but out here, you need to reach out and touch it. I've only ever been in love once. Uh, it was with a girl I met when I was 18, but I was too young and naive to handle it properly. I guess I still carry a torch for her, which makes me an incurable romantic or underdeveloped emotionally. I'm a loyal friend. Blondes or brunettes? I like girls with nice smiles. You leg man, tip man, ass man? Nice smiles. Good. Well, you sound just like a kind of a form character with a heart of gold to wake up your snow white. Well, uh, psych profile says so. You're never wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the horoscope's never wrong. <laughs> right. Less cynical. You're here to save the planet. All right, review files from Cyber. Natives arrest us, given access to pipeline maps. You've got eight months till the next convergence. Just follow the protocol and stick to the plan. You're going to be the knife instead of being swarm in the heart. I am going to detonate an apartment. Hey, babe. Oh, okay, get in here. Let me give that big hug. Ah! Hi. Are you still on the plane? No. No, I'm at my batty apartment, remember? The other guys have this. What, this? This here? This itchy, scratchy, scratchy? This is yeah, scratchy, scratchy, uh, scratchy, uh, scratchy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? What, how was your day? Tell me. Today was with Amber. Today, Kale, oh. I found a crazy bug. I'm going to start with gloves. Blood picked it up. I tried to put it on my good pocket. Then when I came home, I hid it under you my did? desk. My tooth fell. I had to sit at the camp no salt day. It was so bad, it was bleeding. Okay. Since it was vacation, we had a movie night. We watched Sleeping Beauty and built a bed on the sofa. You did? Where are we going? Inside. Oh. Oh. Okay. I can't wait. One second, right? All right. Here I come. Hi. Can you die from a sore tooth? No. 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 You can't. You can't die from that. It just means that you're growing up. You're getting bigger and stronger. And when the tooth falls out. Right? I want it to fall out. No. 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 Listen. Listen. When that tooth falls out, the tooth fairy's gonna come. She's gonna give you money for it. The tooth fairy? Yeah. You know what the tooth fairy? The fairy that comes at night while you're asleep, and she takes your old tooth from under your pillow and she swaps it for money. What is she doing, Pitty? How is she even get to my room? Okay, look, if you don't, she'll only come if you want her to come. And if you do, and here's what you gotta do, all right? You gotta put your old tooth under your pillow, and then write her the sweetest note, okay? It's like Santa, but for teeth. Yes, exactly. It's like Santa, but for teeth. Hey, where's your mom? Will you go get her for me? She's in the bathroom. I'll take you. Take me. Take me anyway. Hey, Mama, it's Daddy! Here he is. <laughs> hey. Hey. I miss you. Uh, you miss the beach. No. I miss you. Hey, where do you think of the new apartment? Oh my god. It looks just like your place on Kinsey Street. You know yeah. that mattress on the floor? I was sure you were a serial killer. Oh, but I've, I've upgraded to a futon. Uh oh, well, the glamorous life of a super spy. <laughs> yeah, except they neglected to mention all the furniture assembly at Quantum. Uh, <laughs> by the way, if you needed, you know, say, 17 Allen wrenches, I got them. So just let me know. Okay. <laughs> you know, what about your day? Oh, well, I got Alba ready for camp, made her a spectacular lunch, no PB&J, otherwise she has to sit at the peanut table. Mm -hmm. At work, I pulled a messy code blue back from the brink and administered a sub insulin that my patient didn't even feel. Picked Alba up, made her dinner, soup, because her tooth hurts. And then we had to watch a Disney princess movie, because Mama sent us the damn box set. <laughs> Can I call you back after Alba gets down? It's late, I gotta get her in the bath. Yeah, Love you. Love you. Mm, yeah. How you feeling? Good. Yeah. I need contact today, and about some music. Do you know that Iggy Fox named Duffer's first band, the Iguanas? Mm -hmm. really James. You know, it makes me cringe when you try and talk about music. Besides, you're off the clock now, anyway. So you just watch. Oh. My name is Isabella. Okay, hello, Isabella. I'm a very rich and extremely horny woman. I hire young men, and then I hold them captive, and I hypnotize them. <laughs> yes, I'm a mind vampire. That's why I made all my money. Now, sh you are. I am. No, you are Alex. You are a business competitor of mine. I lured you to my castle, and now I'm going to have my way with you. Alex, are you sorry that you tried to mount an aggressive takeover of my business? Totally. Mm, just terrible things. I'm going to use you for my pleasure, and you only come when I say so. Now, okay. take off your shirt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very nice. Now your pants. Well, slowly, okay. slowly. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, sweetheart. 
Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Come here. I'm sorry. Hey, we have to take a rain check. Is that daddy? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hi. Uh, hey, honey. Oh, look. Oh, that's, see, that, that tooth is going to fall out any day now. No, you say you want me to put you to bed? What? Can I see them bed? Yeah, okay. <laughs> that's okay. All right. Under the covers. All right, I'll just need to put my PJs on. It had my bill about the tooth fairy. She was big and looked like Mima's cat, the bitey one. Oh, really? Well, it was just a nightmare. That's all. Nothing to be scared about. All right? Are you? Are you All right, take a night to Daddy. Daddy, can you put us candy? Yeah, I'm right here. All right. Close your eyes. There you go. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle. Twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Wants to go to sleep. Maybe have a big glass of wine. Probably just go to sleep. Okay. You sure you can hypnotize me? <sighs> Hun, I just pulled a tooth out of her sleeping daughter's mouth, and in about six hours, I'm gonna have to wake up and go wait in the bathroom while she does a crap because ever since you've been gone, she started having the bathroom ghost nightmare again. <sighs> when I'm in the mood, I'll let you know. Okay. Or I'll just put on some dust and Timberlake and have a nice visit with my Hitachi. Uh, now remember, you promised you'd only think of bearded men until I shave this off. Oh, Father John missed you then? You're, you're such a sucker for the rock stars, don't get it. Yeah, well, I fell for you because you looked a bit in the suit. My vagina is superficial. with the sleeping beauty thing. You too, judging by your screen name. <laughs> no, I haven't fainted. This is my favorite thing. I get nice way to sleep and uh, I get paid. You know, in France we say, um, the sleeping beauty has no soul. What do you think this means? So you prefer women with soul? Don't share away. But if you do anything for us, I kick you out. You are not that kind of guy, are you? You're not that kind of guy at all. I just mean, um, you're not the kind of guy who has uh, trouble getting at it. Complicated man. So, what is on the menu? I just want to talk. I talk her. And you don't have to look at the camera. Well, I can get them. <laughs> so, what made you pick me? I like your hair. I like your eyes. You like your girls a little gothic? No, I like your hair. Why Snow White? Snow White evokes something a little dark. It is short time for asphyxiation or sleep fantasy. You know, I have a kinky side. Don't you? What do you do, Prince Charming? For work. Sure, for work. You have uh, serious eyes, but I see something a little wild inside. I just moved, and I... 
It's a secret. I'm not going to say something. Tell me. Really? Why well, do I know you're telling the truth? <laughs> Why not? Tell them you. You don't know me. You can't talk. Takes care of the transaction. Everything's anonymous. Right? We can be honest with each other here. It's totally different than in real life. And they're always honest with sex workers, even in real life. They save their lives for the people that mentor their wives, their bosses. You are married. And I have a boss. <laughs> yeah, there are other things we can talk about that you wouldn't say to your wife. Your session's almost over and we haven't even pulled around yet. Would I like to talk? You like to pull around? If I want to fool around, I'll let you know. Okay, you are the boss. Will you come back some other time? I like you. <laughs> Goodbye, my prince. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mr. Ferris, double mall. Hey, Martin. Things fully operational? Yes, I called into the record store on Sunday, and we spoke for a bit. I told her I was new to the area, I wanted to write a deep pop record, and she said they have order it, but then she asked me why I wanted the remix when the original's the best. She's the best record. Something like that. Why would you want that record if the original's the best? Not because I'm a collector, and I have a thing for colored vinyl. But honestly, I do prefer Pop's remix of Jimmy Danger over the original, because then the reissue, the loudness is fixed. And that sounds more natural, and the vocals are more authentic. Great. You sound like an expert. And today, I attended a meeting at the Jasmine Center, and uh, she remembered me from the record store. Yeah, and she said hi, I spoke to the bag over some stale vegan cookies. You know what, you're right, this is a good look on me. Why'd you tell me the vegan cookies were stale? Huh. Call yeah, you can the details out of your report. Hey, Ava. Hey. Hey, so look, uh, well, here, take a look. This is some of my vinyl, because I, well, I think I have a problem. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, th uh, this is the one I was talking about. Oh, wow. About. Yeah, it's their bootleg copy of their Warsaw songs. Of the Warsaw thing? Well, yeah, I mean, it's got a stain on it. That doesn't change the way it sounds. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I believe that you are a music nerd <laughs> with great <laughs> taste, but I still don't entirely trust you. No, you think I'm stopping you, don't you? Why? Because what, we met twice in the same week in the same city. I mean, come on, stranger things have happened to Ava. I mean, I might go out for food. We might bump into each other then. I mean, I like Chinese food. I my favorite food. Well, see, now there's an even better chance that we're going to bump into each other. Right? You know what? Now that I think about it, I think you might be stalking me. Oh. Yeah. And look, here I am giving you a view of my apartment. Your apartment is great. It's very. Yeah? What? Clean and empty. Oh, uh, that's because I just moved in. And now I feel less <laughs> stuff conscious. Thank you. Yeah. Wait, this is weird. Where are your hands? Please keep your hands in view at all times. <laughs> there you go. What are you doing? Uh, I'm just about to lock up. I hate this bit. Why? You gotta count no, I don't mind that. I just... I don't like the dark. It's creepy when it's just me. Okay, I'm taking it with you. Ha. Huh. No, I'm, I'm being serious. Come on, take me with you. Point me at the ghost. I'll scare him off. All good. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Press keys. Need those. Alright. One. Two. Three. I'm gonna turn this last one off. It's completely dark. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay. I like on the silvery moon. I want to spoon to the money I'll crew. Love's tune. Honey moon. Keeps it shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams. We'll be cut on soon. By the silvery moon. You have a beautiful voice. Funny. No, I'm serious. I always sing when I'm in the dark or in the bath. Oh, well, then you gotta call me next time you're in the, uh, you're in the dark. <laughs> Alright. Maybe. Okay, I'll take maybe. Maybe it's good. Well, well, <laughs> well. I just wanted, um, I think that I left a little abruptly tonight. Yeah. Me? Okay. Too. I've seen your apartment. You wanna see mine? And it's more stuff than yours, so. Uh, we've got <laughs> posters. All the jazz. Um, oh, I have a cactus. Just, just the one plant. Um, I kept it alive for like a year now, and it's... Longer than like any relationship that I've ever had in my entire life, but the sex is not great. <laughs> uh, books, mm. I have a lot of books. Um, oh, I have, uh, I have books too, because guess what I did? I unpacked. Check out oh, the unpacking wow. job. Look at that. <laughs> the unpacking that happened. Yeah, you yeah. need shelves. Oh, here is a thing that we can do. Okay, grab the top book off of your pile and turn to a random page, and I'll do it too. And what you read tells you what kind of a person you are. Yeah, yeah, Seriously? it's a silly game, but well, this is awkward, so I'm breaking the ice. Just do it, and then I'll stop being awkward. Okay. Let's do it. So. Top yep. book on the pile, and open to a random page. Alright, let's see. Great. Here we go. They brought us parrots and cotton bread and bartered them for glass beads and little bells. They do not bear weapons, nor do they know them, for I showed them swords, and they took them by the edge and cut themselves through ignorance. They have no metal at all. Their spears are wooden with a fish's tooth at the end, and their bodies are well made with handsome faces. They are the color of the people of the Canaries, neither black nor white. They uh -huh. would be good servants. Uh, with 50 men, you could keep them all subjugated and make them do whatever you like. Columbus was a motherfucker. Yeah, well, you know, I'm still making my way through that one, so... Okay, sorry. I <clears throat>
Wait, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You said take the top book off the file. What's wrong I'm not reading that. Oh, not? It's not a proper book. It's where I write my lyrics. For my eyes only. You write and you sing. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's I just sing in a band. Wait, I thought you said you didn't like I to sing for me. I don't. Anyway, I got out of the habit. Why wouldn't you tell me that you're in a rock band? All right, right moving on. <clears throat> you yeah. get Memories of a Golden Age. My next break was starring alongside Jack Vesna in the popular Hercules serial. I played a mermaid who falls in love with the hero against her father's wishes, swimming together on screen with a perfect couple, but the reality was a Hollywood nightmare. The water in the studio tanks was freezing and gave us all cramps. Then there was, uh, Jack. Jack didn't act the part of Hercules, he believed he was Hercules. All the women on Earth, mere mortals, created by the gods for his pleasure. After the show, he summoned me to his dressing room. Inside, he was stood, naked, posed like a classical sculpture, a shockingly well-endowed one. I ran, uh, and Hercules and his, <laughs> and his club chased me down the corridor like something out of a horror movie. Okay, that, that's an old library book, it falls at that part, so. Damn, Hollywood was intense, but I like reading about people got famous. You know, I've played this game before, but the rules were like, whatever passage you read, and that's how good you were. Yeah, I mean, that's the idea, but I didn't want to embarrass you. Wow. Oh, no, ladylike. Mm. I had fun tonight. And listen, I don't want you to think that I said relevant act. I just, I'm in a place where I'm not really rushing anything like that right now. Yeah, I'm also, you know, I don't know, rebooting, you know, and I'm not in any hurry to do or say whatever. It's unfortunate that I ran into you, you know, the first week I got here, because I'm still finding my feet. I mean, I, I'm, I'm glad that I did. Me too. Ugh. I think I've made this awkward. Yeah. Good night. Good night. Hey, hon. You're cheerful. Hmm, right. I just think you should pretend it's no fun playing Jason Bourne. Well, Jason Bourne never had to file reports. I mean, if this job ever gets exciting, then they're going to That's not what they told me in my psych interview. They said that even the most basic undercover work was a big adrenaline rush, and that loving and supportive partners like me should be aware of that and help you adjust. Interesting today. Thanks for asking. The new anesthesiologist asked me out to dinner. <laughs> when we both have jobs where we can't wear our wedding rings to work. Professional hazard. I will tell you, he is very attractive and very charming. And I turned him down, of course. All anesthesiologists. <laughs> also, they tend to be sort of unhinged. It doesn't matter what his name is. Because I want to hear. Steven. Oh, Steven. <laughs> Steven. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he puts people to sleep for a living. He's not a brave law enforcer like you. Don't make fun. Oh, you're a samurai. You're a warrior knight. Stop it. Don't stop. You turn mm -hmm. him Prove it. I want to take a look at what those college town tramps are being denied. Right, unless you do something return. Yeah, because those college town tramps, they are shameless. Let me tell you. Oh, if you so much as look at one of them, I'll come over there and bite your service pistol off my own teeth. Talk a good game online. Yeah, well, I am the man of the house now. Uh, I gotta go. Oh, no, wait, I'm gonna take my mama. Oh, she's coming for a visit tomorrow. Oh. Don't be angry. Me again. You again. I'm not super intense and weird. I just, I really enjoy talking to you. And I can't sleep. Well, you're scared of the dark, right? I don't have a nightlight, but I don't know, I'm still kind of messed up. I told you, I warned you about that double espresso. <laughs> I didn't want to get you drunk. Um, what I said earlier, it's slightly more than that. I just, I just gotta have a bad relationship and I'm still dealing with it. I just need a little time. Understood. This is one of my songs. I hate being messed up out loud. Okay, then you're swimming in my head, it goes straight upon my chest. I'm drowning deep in my bed. All right, all right. Don't oh, read that it was out. Strong stuff. Are you used to seeing that in band? Oh no, no, we were a covers band. Oh yeah. Mm. What was your name? Well, my stage name was Jane Dean, and we were Jane Dean and the Rebels. Well, that's adorable. <laughs> Shut up! I was sixteen. What were you doing when you were sixteen? Uh, I was at sixteen. I was getting pulled over for a DUI, but then running away from the cop and totaling the parents' truck. It was pretty bad. You tried to get away from my the father, cop. My father, who was a cop in his own right, uh, he did everything he could to drag me out of jail, but he never spoke about it actually. Mm. And then I left about a week after that. And everybody had all these expectations of me going into the force because everyone in my family's a cop. But it was actually the uh, court appointed therapist. She said that that DUI was my way of ruling out a career in law enforcement. So. Mm. Yeah, I don't think you're quite cop material. You don't. You don't think I'm quite cop. No, no, you're not cop material. Okay. So what is it you think I do? Yeah, you were a little bit vague about that. Um, it's gotta be some. It's gotta be something disgusting. Otherwise, you would have told me, right? Mm. Maybe, kind of. <laughs> okay. Um, you're not a drug dealer. You haven't offered me drugs. Yet. So no. it's not that. That was not something I disapprove of. Nothing in no, appetite. No, 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 no. Come on. Maybe you to talk to him. Maybe you like sleep with rich old ladies in California what? for money. You think I'm like a gigolo or something? Yeah, gigolo. Yeah, no. that's weird. <laughs> no, I, I was a movie producer. I had a nice boat. You made movies? Any that I've ever seen? No, 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 no. These were all like. Straight to DVD knockoffs. You know, we'd get people to invest in them so they can be the actresses, you know, do a walk on, write it off on the taxes at the end of the year. We sold essentially a dream. But you stopped? Oh, yeah, because there's only so much time you can spend in that world before you go crazy. Yeah. And uh, my 
uh, a friend of mine died last year. Um, I'm so sorry. It was an overdose. Um, it was an accident. It was stupid. So um, I just needed some perspective. And I, I, I don't want to become a cop. But my father, he's, he, he stood for something. You know? Yeah. Does that sound disgusting? No. I mean, it's interesting. Everyone I know was born here. We grew up dressing up as astronauts and rock stars, but we knew eventually we'd end up working at the American Axle. I dream of being a singer, but I work in a record store and you came back here from LA. I'd like to be a real person. Will you seem real? What about you, your family? Was your mom like a singer or something? No, 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 no my mom works at American Axle. <clears throat> oh, okay, I was thinking, you know, you, but older, kind of a grungy, heavy look. <laughs> <laughs> my mom's the kind of hippie who shacks up with a retired account and moves to Florida. It's very counterculture. I feel like I can trust you. I better get some sleep. Come on. Hello, everybody. A big case for my regulars. Okay, how's rooms? Very nice. No home use, no accumulation request. Oh, and uh, the tea menu and wish list is right there. And no recording the show. And that is it. Rooms done. So, today I treated myself. I watched a movie and uh, got a pedicure. And uh, if you want to treat yourself, I'll tell you all about it in private. It was, uh, the movie was Lady Eve. It is my favorite movie. Barbara Stanwyck is a stone cold killer. You don't like black and white movies, so I ban you. Red Lord 55, I missed you too. Hi, Sandman Extra, thank you. That's very kind. Want to go between my house again? Quick drop. I remember you, the talker. Do you still want to just talk? Because there is talking, and then there is talking. Well, I'm happy to just talk. No, it's the really wild guys who say they just want to talk. I bet you've got something interesting happening down there. Let me see. Sorry. <laughs> Prince Charming really is yeah, a boy scout. I'm pleased to meet you, David. So what did you do before? Uh, before excuse me. What did you do to make money? Oh, yes, I was um, an astronaut in France. There are not many mm -hmm. rockets, so uh, yeah, very funny, very I started coming in. <laughs> you asked too many questions, David. Most guys, they pop on. I'll take you Okay, 15. Okay. I was a ballet teacher. Um, when I was a girl, I was a part of the Paris Opera Ballet. I was a... Uh, um, sugar plum in a nutcracker and uh, Lila Perry in Sleeping Beauty. I was a good dancer, not good enough. I knew it would not be my vocation, so I uh, got to become a teacher. Tip me again, and I tell you about the time the Bolshoi Ballet visit. And I think about the finger ballerina thing she said just to get inside her head. I keep trying to get in my. Oh, uh, I have to go. Oh, wait. You just can't say wait again. No. I was closing my eyes and getting ready to fall asleep and thinking, dreaming about doing things, and I thought. Well, just in bed. Not bad, but, yeah. I feel like tonight we had some moments, you know, and I know this is all a bit muddled and I'm attracted to you. Yeah, man. I'm attracted to you too. I like where this is going. Just promise me you won't laugh, okay? No problem. Never know how much I love you, never know how much I care When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me a fever, when you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight Fever, in the morning, fever all through the night Never know how much I love you, never know how much I care When you put your arms around me, I get a fever that's so hard to bear You give me a fever, when you kiss me, fever when you hold me tight Fever, in the morning, fever all through the night Sunlight's up the day, and the moon, she lights up the night I don't know how you call my name, and you know I'm gonna treat you Well, that was special Baby, won't you take me? You're you gotta be able to manage, yeah, thank you. I'll leave. Oh, stay, stay and be with me. It's nice to have you here. Watch me sleep. Yeah, I'll stay. Good night, David.
<laughs> All right, Shh. It's just nice to know that someone's there. Hey, hey, honey. Hey. You look, uh, pissed. I am pissed. You still in bed? Yeah, it was, uh, a big night. Well, Mom is here. She brought two suitcases. She says she's here to help out. What? Okay, why, why did you let her do that? I didn't let her do anything. I told her she could visit and she took that as an invitation to move in. So how much is a ticket back to Texas? Oh, you know that's not the way it works. You can't say no to Mama. Kind of. With her here, I just feel so... Everything goes off. Like I'm not in control. Well, you know, I mean, Abba loves having down. Look, I'm running the household by myself. My husband is essentially non-existent. I mean, this doesn't count. This isn't a real relationship. And I know that this is just the way it has to be, but God, Mama here, I just feel like I'm a teenager again. She's there to help. She's an extra pair of hands. God, David, you're not even listening. Mama, Jesus, no! Is that David? Look, I'm having a private conversation. Yeah. talk to him. Oh, Hi, Laura. David. Look what they did to your handsome face. You look like Daniel did in the 70s. Yeah, I heard I heard you, you came to help me two girls, so I really appreciate that, Laura. I do worry, David. While you're off growing your hair and saving the world, your wife here is raising her daughter all on her own and holding down a job. It's a lot to ask, David. Jobs, Laura. That, that's our life now, okay? You don't know Emma like I do. She's not as tough as she thinks she is. You are such a good husband. You need to be here. Your daughter needs to feel like a part of the family. Okay, Mama, could you go check her out in the bathroom, please? Sure. Bye, David. <sighs> God. Sorry. No, you're not. And she's right. That's what's so infuriating. Hey, we can make this work. I got this. It's fine. You go catch some bad guys. Hey. I was so thinking about last night. I can't stop drinking coffee. I really need my sleep. Me too. I haven't come like that in forever. Yeah, I take credit for it. Yeah, it was, it was fun. It was really fun. You like listening. That's not easy to find with guys. I like it. I know you. Well, beneath this unassuming exterior is a lot to discover. Mm, I am very yeah, special. So. <laughs> um, but I worry that we rushed things last okay. night. Good. Well, down to just hang out. You know, my new best friend in A squared, and I'm, I'm not a dick. You know, I thought as much. This yeah, guy's not a dick. Let's get that. No, I mean, I mean, I'm special. Mm -hmm. well, I still mm. have your fortune cookie. Open the bad boy up and read it out loud. Um, your hidden talents will soon be revealed. In bed. Your hidden talents will soon be revealed in bed. <laughs> oh, and, um... Oh, nice. Your record came in. Cool. No, you can come by and pick it up anytime, or I can bring the it personal later. touch, see? This is why I shop local. Now I'll pop in, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I should go. Keep voting on the living costumes. You have to take two votes. Yeah, maybe you want me to be. Hmm? Which? Nice. Okay. Halloween is my favorite time of year because everyone gets a little bit kinky. And I know you. You all like to be a little kinky. David, yeah. I've been thinking about you. Mm -hmm. David with the big stereo job mm -hmm. and the weight of the world on his shoulders. Well, I was relaxing talking to you. Yeah, I mean, I got a therapist back oh. you know, a little bit, so. <laughs> But you prefer your therapist <laughs> being hunting. Yeah, I mean, I think there's a connection here, right? And plus, we both have similar jobs, so. How did you end up in a job like yours? I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Well, I come from a cop's family, and I've always wanted to help people. Oh. But police work is just too messy for me, so, yeah. And ever since high school, it's been a dream of money to be a special major. My dream was to be an astronaut. Yeah, astronaut. Yeah. And <clears throat> is it everything you hope for? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm. You know, the, uh, the rush, the adrenaline you get, there's nothing like it. You lie to people and they believe you. And I sleep like a rock at night because I don't know people. So. Mm. What's your real name? I don't. Don't tell me it's not. I knew it. Uh, this is your king if you like asking questions. It will cost you. Okay, how much? Let's say 75 for the first thing. Misha. Michelle. I'm Michelle, David. It's nice to meet you, David. Michelle. Hmm. What? Let's get used to it. Michelle. <laughs> Do I look like Michelle? Michelle looks like. Mm. It looks like this. Yeah. 
And just like that. It means, uh, <clears throat> gift of God. I better go. May I see another one? What? No. <laughs> no more questions. You already know too much. Okay. Next okay. time. Yes. Mm. I would like that. Hey, baby girl. Dad, I'm in my Halloween costume. You are? Well, let me see. Come on, let me see. Oh. I'm Laura. You are? You look amazing, Laura. I wanted Mama to be my love but she doesn't want it. Yeah, well, Mama doesn't help Angelina Jolie's cheekbones. Mm, well, maybe me not being a little bit of I wanted Albert to be one more modern heroines, but Mama bought the costume. I love it. And she loves it. Oh, doesn't she look so pretty? Oh, Halloween is so important to children, and I want her to feel special. It's fine, Mama. Hey, why don't you go play in your room, sweetheart? Albert is fine. Look, Mama, this is a family. David is here, and he's working. He's always working. Walks in the door and he expects me to have my best face on. Mama. Never gonna meet Mama if you do so I'll run back. Okay. You have to be here for Thanksgiving and the recital, okay? I sent you the date. The Bureau was very insistent that we were a strong family unit. You think they'd want to make some effort to keep things that way? They said we're a strong family. <laughs> we should frame that report with our diplomas. We're both great at taking tests. I gotta go. Yeah, love you. A highly melanated rock star queen. Wow. I love it's the like... facial hair. I feel kind of dumb wearing this, though. No, don't be silly. You look incredible. Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, six, you six, know six. that I don't. Da, 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 da. You are Freddy. Mm -hmm. You are not evil. Freddy doesn't want this thing. No, but you're just being abandoned. Okay, I'm watching. Come on. Okay, come on, look. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, that hurt. It hurt. Yeah. You're good. You are majestic. You are a majestic queen, and I want a real song now. Uh, I need to get this off and get changed. I have to get to work this afternoon. Well, you'd sell more records with that on, no? No, no. If I wear this to the store, every dick who walks in is going to try and mansplain booking me to me. I just can't. Um, just go figure out your own costume, please. Nah. I got, like, black suit or something. That could be a blues brother. Ooh, John Draper? Beard ruins these ideas. So shave it. No, 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 no. You wouldn't, you wouldn't like me without a beard. Well, if I can grow a mustache, you can lose your beard. Or we can build your costume around it. Some famous characters with beards. Saman. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Leo, don't worry about it. I love him. Uh, the dude from 300. Okay. Joaquin Phoenix, we're going to be a rapper, come on. Uh, okay, General Zod. Wait, aren't these, like, all bad guys? What, you don't want to be a bad guy? Halloween. Let me go. I gotta go. What am I gonna be? Figure it out, I gotta go. Goodbye. Hey. hey all right, are we doing this then? Yeah, it's a fun idea. We get to have a night in together without... Invading each other's personal space? Yes, thank you for understanding. Okay, okay so we're watching. I'll send you the link. Um, here's a bit of an extra twist. You turn on the captions, you turn <laughs> off the sound, and we play parts ourselves. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. It's just a thing that I invented called Movement Night <laughs> I'll be all the female roles and you do all men. Okay, okay. Uh, I think I just got your link. Oh. Wait, burn on wire? Yeah, I'm a sucker for Goldie Hawn who made the comedy before I was born. And Mel Gibson? Well, young Mel Gibson is my problematic favorite. Okay, all right, just a second. Let me set it up. Closed captions. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Oops, I did. New York City. I'm going to city, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm all one of your guys. Right. Yeah. Good afternoon, Miss Hello. Oh, nice to see you. Mm. These gentlemen are expecting you. Should I take your coat? No, thanks. Brad, Dex, sorry I can't stay for lunch. I have to fill in for a partner. At a board meeting, you know, nothing for me. No, maybe maybe tight coat. Make that an Evian water. No, I'll have a San Pellegrino in water. No ice. You got it? Here's the deal. There's no deal. My client bought me. What do you mean? I tried to sell it, but she wouldn't do it. She thinks her company's worth more. She thinks, or you think? I'm talking about that. Tell us what you want, Ariane. Uh, so I'm chicken? <laughs> I gotta make a phone call. Hey, it's just us here. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a world of fair play, where the corporate big guys don't always get their way. Right, still beating up on your ex-husband? Oh, you're gonna pay for that. Oh, who's your ex-husband? Me and my big mouth. Ooh, he wants it. Hey, Pookie! Don't call me Pookie. I just meant to be affectionate. <laughs> What's about, babe? I'm in a meeting, and I don't have much time. But do you remember when you said you wanted to have sex with me in some weird place? How about the Too kinky. Anyway, I'm socked in there installing my big screen on Sunday. I'm gonna model my mom presentation next week. What can I do by myself in Detroit? Bye, Chevy. Prove you're American. I don't love you, and I don't miss you. Call me when you get there. Bye. Uh, that dude never could get going on. Oh, 100%. Thunder. Like, Detroit. Detroit, Michigan! Yeah! Right. <clears throat> I'll be this guy, okay? okay? No. Oh. Billy Ray, you gonna sleep down there? No! No! no. Help me, Marvin! Help me, Marvin! Help me! Help me! Help me! I forgot about this part. Get me out of here! Get me out of here! Hold on! Oh, God! Help me, Marvin! Get me out of here! 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 Get me out of that's why I travel around so much. Mm -hmm. Like I told you. You know, I guess I get it from my daddy. He was a traveling salesman. He sold hairbrushes in Kentucky. I thought you said he raised hogs in Tennessee. Oh, 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 he raised hogs and then he sold hairbrushes. You'll bullshit at the drop of a hat. You did say you never pulled anybody's leg before. <laughs> Station <laughs> bell rings, horn honks. I'll okay. get it, I'll get it. <laughs> I was the horn. <laughs> Can I help you, man? I'm letting I'm let it, all right. Wait. Is that, is that WJBL on the radio? I have no That's idea. That's what it is, all right. That's the 60s station. I'll listen to that all day. You know what they say about the 60s, don't you? If you can remember them, you wasn't there. Ha 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 ha. You want me to check under the hood, ma'am? No, it's rented. Oh, she? You go to Detroit, you rent a Beamer? That's like going to Germany and eating Jimmy Dean sausages. Delicious. 
Oh, in Tennessee, I never saw cars like this. I was 22 before I knew foreigners made cars. Are you from Tennessee? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm a, oh, I'm, I'm a southern boy. I'm Billy Ray, named after the scoundrels. My mama thought it might have been my daddy. Oh, he's southern, okay. Yeah, right. no, right. Uh, is that cash your card, ma'am? Ma'am? Rick? Be 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 beg your pardon? Will MasterCard do? Will MasterCard uh, do? Hey, bitch, I'm fine. You, you remind me, you remind me something a lot. Yeah, a boy, a man named Rick Darman. His plane went down in the mountains in Mexico, 15 years ago. I never went to Mexico. You laugh like I him? I didn't mean to. You look like him. Well, I don't know what to tell you, ma'am. You want to sign that? He was so dreamy. Yeah, he was good looking. Well, you have a nice day, then. Billy Ray? Ma'am? Do you have a tattoo? A tattoo? No. <laughs> Your upper right arm, a dove? No, I don't have a tattoo. I'm not leaving until you show me. Uh oh, here it comes. Hope nobody's looking. There, satisfied? Right arm. Now I got some shrapnel there. I took that in Vietnam. It's all down the right side. My friend would have never been in that war. Meaning what? Oh, he was very he much, was very against, much killing. against killing. Oh, come on, man. Sorry. All right, well, you just stole my line, so there you go. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> this isn't going to work. I mean, of course it is. They're like men for each other. No, this movie night, dummy, your accent is terrible. What? Come on, I'm trying. I'm, I mean, I'm doing an Australian playing an American putting on a southern accent. There's a lot of layers here. Mm hmm You need to get some sleep. You have a rally tomorrow. Are you saying that you're recasting me? Wait till you hear from my agent. I'm not attracted to you for your acting ability. But you are attracted to him? Good luck tomorrow. Stay safe. Hi there. I was hoping it would come back. <laughs> wow. Nice Halloween costume. You like it? I'm wearing it all week. My regular sick of vampire yeah, I thought the vampires were running fancy. Vampire stories are a way to make rape fantasies more palatable, which works both ways. Okay. So you bite the guys? No, I am the victim. One of the vampire wives? Oh, that's dark. It's human nature. What? You don't want to take a bite? You know, people start with these fantasies and then they escalate to acting out their life. They can end up with that. Let's go with the <laughs> Okay, touche. Davey, yes, do you mind if I call you Davey? David. Okay, well, now they do. So, Davey, you are the least horny looking person agent guy I have ever come for. Cops are normally must be said. I can't tell I'm going to my job. How did you get in there? How did you get into this job? I have questions again. You first. Tell me. How did you end up in such an uh, exciting job? I already told job? you I come from a family of cops. Okay, sure, but it's deeper with you. You are no ordinary cop. What is the moment when you decide you want this? I bet you were young. Hmm? Okay. Okay. <laughs> tell me. Yeah, it was young. I was a teenager. My father took me to the station with him. I was ill or something and couldn't find anyone to cover for him. So he brought me with him mm -hmm. and he put me in the fish tank that's the waiting room for most of the day. And after a while, an officer comes in with a woman and she's tall and she has beautiful long hair. And she's a suspect or she's a victim on her. She's crying or she had been crying. She's wearing a mm -hmm. sexy black outfit with a big coat over her. Maybe somebody put the coat on her. Maybe she looks like something out of a movie. I'm watching her, watching her over my Game Boy. But <laughs> I don't want to take my eyes off of her. And then. After a few moments, a man walks in, black suit, tie, and this is summer, so everybody in the police station is sweaty and a mess. But he's Christy. Christy. He's FBI. And he sits down and he talks with her and she cries on his shoulder and he's so solid and a look of relief and gratitude on her face and he takes her to the interview room and now she can't, she can't take her eyes off her. And you wanted yeah. to be this guy? Yeah, I want to be that guy. Yeah. yeah. Okay, enough about me. Enough. I want to know about you. I want to know how you got this job. Don't tell me this Valley story. I know it was a lie. What? Stop. No, the Wolf Boy Valley never performed his own character. I know this. <laughs> you are rich. As you know from Pat, my father was a judge, a powerful man. And when I was in school, I was sleeping with a guy who was a criminal. This upset my family, who were worried about the scandal. So my father sent me to America to study. And this is where I met my husband. He worked in a bank, he made a lot of money. But he treated me badly. And so I told authorities about his insider trading. I divorced him while he was in prison. But now I had no money and I had no education, so it's a, a man's world, TV. But doing this, I get paid for it. And I can make men disappear like this with a butt, which is quite something. Not all the guys are like you, TV. That's a good story. Yeah, I crossed my heart. Oh, look. Here it says Max. That was my first boyfriend. The criminal, he did the tattoo himself. It hurt oh, a lot. He did not need his name. Because you said he was arrested for financial crime. I'm you don't trust me. Are you going to be one of my regulars? Do I need your permission? No. You just turn up. Tip big. I'll do that. Bye. Bye. Hey. Late. I'm canceling. Yeah. Well, I am getting ready for a big thing tomorrow.
No, don't let me stop you. Let me tell you about how hard my life is right now. Yeah. <laughs> so. It's not just her drinking. Mama's acting crazy. Not her usual crap. She's just getting confused. I, I talked to Stephen about Steven? it. And, yeah, the anesthesiologist. And he said that I might need to take her to see somebody because at her age it could be dementia. But she hates hospitals, you know. She's convinced that the doctor's headed in for Papa, and that's why. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just blowing it all out of proportion. But... Well, if you're really worried, then you should take her to see someone. Look, I'm telling you, she won't go. Okay, I'm telling you to take her for ice cream. But, David, she's a grown woman. I'm gonna trick her into going to the doctor. Yeah, and Alba's so happy to have her Mima here. And I guess if she really is sick, then it's better that she's here instead of on her own in Texas. You know? Well, at least just even goodbye. Screw you. You don't get to be jealous. Hey. David, what did they do to you? Oh, I got looked at, and it's nothing permanent or dangerous, but I, uh, I lost a tooth. Why did the police stop them? It was the police. <laughs> they were heavy handed, let me tell you. They were manhandling this woman, and I was gonna just take it. I jumped in, they hit me, I hit her back. I mean, I took one of them down. So. Fuck, David, why aren't you in jail? <laughs> it was chaos. I, I had my mask on, you know, and I, I ditched my jacket, and oh, I saw your, your friend Eric. Yeah, I heard yeah, you Yeah, he was, uh, he was with that other guy, his friend. They were helping to block the road, and you know, not getting into the skirmishes, but of course, they round up these to grab one, so. David, I'm glad you're okay, but fuck. Yeah. I don't know. I'm just, you know, I can't just stand around and watch these fascists and these, these police. I need to do more. But, yeah, I'm just hanging out, waiting for you. You're, uh, running late, huh? Okay, you don't say traffic. Yeah, right. No, sure, I'm just... I'm getting hungry, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Just saw a dwarf head into the cottage, but... No sign of Snow White. Yet. Oh, wait, 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 no, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, here she comes, here she comes, here she comes. Yeah, Snow White is headed to the cottage. Are fair bonded naturally outgoing in all social situations regarding more intimate settings, have a high version to conflict in public spaces. We make sure I'm highly educated and respond to others with similar backgrounds, especially those who take leadership positions and take talks to listen and mirror her opinions. She's 19, young, naive, and in a yearbook she says she wants to be a singer. She likes to think she's special. But she's just a kid from Detroit. Yeah, Snow White is in the cottage. Broken. And I'm cold. Wow. Uh, 
I believe Cookie. you. Cookie! <laughs> Hold on one second, I couldn't ban Lynch in. Okay, well quick, girls are gonna be having sex with an ice cube. Hey, sweetie. Dada, Dada, what? What happened to you? Oh, no, nothing. It was just, just an accident. Did thighs hit you? No, nothing like that. I just no longer really play a part. You lost a chance, too! Yeah, owie. <laughs> you can get two dollars from the two yeah, fans. Right. Hey, what's Mama and Nemo? They had an argument last night. They're still asleep. I'm watching Liv and okay, Maddie. Listen, don't tell Mommy about Daddy's missing tooth, okay? I want to tell her myself. But isn't that a lie? No, no, it's, it's, it's not a lie. It's a secret. Okay, it's different. Dada, I miss you. I want to go to the beach and go swimming. Oh, I miss you too. Come here, give me a kiss. 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 Love you. Love you. Bye. Oh, Christ, you look worse than you said. Some cuts and bruises. That's it. David, take the weekend off. Come home. We could have a barbecue. You said to stop yeah, it. It, it wasn't one of the group. It's a police officer. No, what did you do? it's not like that. I, look, it's a protest. Things got heated. I'm, I'm fine. So. A man died in my arms at work today. Sorry. Yeah. Me too. It was a shooting. Two guys arguing. One pulls a pistol. Uh, he was stage four hypoblant shock when they brought him in, but you know, he looked at me, locked eyes with me, just right as he died. I felt so guilty. Jesus, David, people died. Just I mean, nothing to feel guilty about, Emma. Mom is getting worse. She was giving Alba a bath last night while I worked late, and when I walked in, she was watching TV in the living room. She'd forgotten about Alba. Jesus. Alba was okay, and she was in the bathtub playing with her toys. The water was cold, and she was crying. But uh, I don't think she picked up on how bad it was. No, I am. I don't get it. David, there's things about my mom I can't ignore anymore. And she walked in the bathroom and realized what she'd done. She started crying, and Alba started crying. It was, you know, yeah, so you shouldn't have left them alone. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have left us alone. <laughs> Uh, are we having a fight? <laughs> we never fight. Because you always give me that look you're giving me now and I know better than to open my mouth. You want to keep fighting? No. <sighs> Love you. You look like a cream. Yeah, well, the mission's moved into phase two. What's up with Martin, bro? We are driving to Silver Ridge Camp next week, and it will be very romantic. Remember why we only give these jobs to agents with wives? Yes, Ava's good friends, Eric and Peter will be there too. That's better, those two are your targets for phase three. Yeah, the thing is, there's some bad blood there, Mike. Something's not done. Yeah, we must thought of everyone, we must let the work so well. Well, obviously, we're into the organization, that's incredible. Yeah, that's really incredible. You know, when I told her I heard his organizing group, though, I suggested we share a ride, something came over, though. You know, she got stomach cramps. <laughs> I was just worried about you meeting your ex. People with simple machines, the digestive system's easily confused. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I'll run the camp, I'm see you with her, and let us sink in. Then I won't make contact. Excellent. Looking forward to you. That's my plan, by the book. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the best agent of them all? Hmm? Let's do that for the final report. I find you fascinating. Yeah, I got into a fight with a police officer. It's a great way to prove that you're not another cop, by the way. Sucks for you. No, it sucks with a cop. And it worked, too, because everybody thinks I'm a live wire now. So. <laughs> even my girlfriend, she won't admit it, but she thinks it's not. So. Have you mentioned this girlfriend before? How are you, Michelle? Okay, I am doing great. Thank you for asking. Good. The weather is a bit colder, so men are spending more time on the bed. Comfy parents, and I'm a bit tired. Pretending to come is hard work. How do you do it? I don't, um... I don't, how do you, how do you put so much of yourself out there for these strangers? I put nothing out there. Come on, Davy, there is this. And then there is this, what goes inside here. Okay, this is my body. In a costume, on this silly bed, streaming through this camera. You go on the streets, and you put yourself on the line. You put your life on the line, in a way I have never done. So if I turn this camera off, I walk out this room, that's me. None of these men even know my real name. It's not Michelle. And would I lie to a federal agent? You know, we always use our, our real first names just in case we freeze up, you know, in an intense situation or we run into somebody we know. No, you're going to buy me about my real name. I guess it's different for women when it comes to sex. I tell you a true story. I used to work in real estate. I would take a man to look around apartments. I'd go into these places on my own, knowing at any moment they could jump me. I'd take my heels off at the entrance, and I would make sure that it was in a sexy way. And then when we would get to the bedroom, I would sit on the bed with the garters and a short skirt. You know what I was doing? I was selling him a fantasy. No contract, no safety. 
I felt I get more of myself selling apartments to men than I do here. <laughs> wait, um, wait, when did you sell real estate? This was in France? No, 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 in, uh, here, in New York. Uh. Before I started Camille, uh. there was a girl who put me on it. Um, it was a model we used for a bedroom video shows. She told me how much she earned doing homework, and I was intrigued. She was a brunette and tall, like your police station vampire. You would have liked her. Like you. Careful, David. That sounded like an admission. Shouldn't you have your lawyer present? Mm -hmm. You know, maybe if I keep liking you, mm -hmm. maybe you tell me your real name. I promise. We get to know each other better, I tell you. I'll give you my real name. There you go. Be safe out there. You are one of the good guys. <laughs> hey. hey, how you doing? Where's uh, Alba? Where is Alba? You know, I guess she must be hiding. Oh. We have to go find her. Oh, you do, huh? yeah, okay, count to ten. Oh, I'm with you. Okay. Uh, one, <laughs> one, two, two three, three, four, four five, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, 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 nine, nine ten. ten. All right, ready or not, here I come. Hmm. Where is she? Yeah, where is she? I know. Oh, I know she's out there somewhere because no one can hide from David Smith for long. I will find you. Hello, you out there? Let's see. Is it? Oh, I bet you she's behind this tree. Oh, yep. Yeah, I bet you she's right here. Yeah. Oh no, no. Oh, but wait, look at trail. Ooh, a trail. Oh, a trail. Yeah, look, let's let's follow this oh, trail. trail. Oh, down this. Oh, I see little footprints. Yeah, we're gonna follow this trail. It leads around this tree and catch ya! <laughs> That's right. We're having lunch. You are? Lunch. You are? I ate a lot of chicken oh, and had pie, too. Oh. I'm stuck. Good. I'm glad you're eating, my love. <laughs> good. Can you not play hide and seek now? Oh, no, sweetheart, me and my sleeping. Yeah. Oh, okay, hey, you know what? You know what we could play? How about a game of CD oh. Lions? Hmm? You wanna play some CD oh, Lions? She always sleeps when she's having oh, 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 well, I guess you're gonna have to just try a little bit harder. And you know, sometimes pretending to do something's easier than doing it for real. Okay, come on, lie down, I'll Stop. judge. Yes, lie down and I'll judge you. Go on, sleepy line starts in five, four, okay. three, okay, two, close your eyes. one, and sleep. <sighs> oh, let's get a look at this. Let me look at this line. Is she moving? No, nope, that line's not moving. Oh, the, everyone's looking very sleepy. Hey. Oh, let's take a look. These Oh, oh all the lions are looking very, very sleepy. sleepy. Yeah, oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Though. Did I just see? Yeah, I think I just saw the older lion move. Did I just see them? Oh, no, gotcha, you peeked! <laughs> yeah, that's right, you tricked you, catch the bad guys. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that's called a trap. Uh, what do you know? Dad, I tried some chicken. Oh, chicken? Okay, I'll eat some chicken. Let me have some of that chicken. Give me that chicken. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, and okay, some chicken. Oh, and okay, some corn. Okay, corn too. Okay, nom, 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 nom. I love corn, especially with butter. Mama, mama. Oh, no, thanks. Okay. Sweetheart, mama's driving later. Yeah. Hey, Emma, can I, can I talk to you for just a second? A oh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, um, look, I got bad news. What's going on? Okay, I can't make much of it. I got my shift done. Mom was planning on cooking a 30 pound turkey in honor of your presence. But the terrorists don't get the holiday no, off. Showing solidarity with the protesters. I mean, you know these kids, they're not the kind to want to hang out with families on the holidays. Yeah, no shit. So if it's any consolation, I'm going to be eating tofu instead of turkey. Okay. Oh, well, I hope you check on it. Hey, Emma, don't th Thanksgiving, families across America come together to celebrate and to give thanks for food and family. But this holiday also raises the genocide in our history, the theft of the land and its resources that was the foundation of America. This theft continues today. The government acts in favor of corporations and allows them to brutalize the land, water, and people. All for what? To sell more fossil fuels? For corporate profits. This pipeline will pollute the water and bring illness and death. So we encourage all of you to protest peacefully to block further pipeline development and protect the land for future generations. Water is life. Say no to the sovereign pipeline. <laughs> How's it going? Great. Really great. How's your tofu? You know, it's not the worst tofu I've had, actually, in the last few months. <laughs> well, lots of turkey left over. Put something in a box for you for when you make it home, whatever that might be. We've got mashed potatoes, we've got tons of pumpkin pie, but sorry, no more wine. We drank it. That's your four place settings, too. Yeah, I had a girl from work come by. She didn't have anyone, she loves cranberry sauce. Julie, the redhead. Sorry, I ruined things. <laughs> ruined? Don't be dramatic. You know, Thanksgiving's something they really just do for Apple's benefit, anyway. All she really wants is her data, so... Maybe Mike could send over another agent to take your place. You know, that could work for me, too. You know, there's only so much you can do over the phone. Are agents allowed to screw on assignment? We have a list. <laughs> sure. Oh, my God. Only fire your weapon if you intend to kill. <sighs> Gotta love clean shooting. Come on. Elbow wants to talk to you. <laughs> yeah. Hi, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you, pumpkin pie. What? What do you mean, pumpkin pie? Well, that's great, because that just means you're going to be more pumpkin pie for me. <laughs> I've been practicing for my style. Mama yeah. says she will give me five dollars if I sing. Well, guess what? I'll give you five dollars, too. You're going to meet him? Yeah, I wouldn't miss for the world, kid. Daddy, what's your What? No, Alba, 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 Alba. Alba, that was very naughty. You don't do that to people when they're asleep. Sweetie? Alba? Alba. Daniel, what are you I... doing there? No, hello, it's, it's David. I thought you were at home. Did you step out? No, I'm at work, remember? Sure, Emma, I told you I'm going to be home in a few weeks for a short visit, though. Oh, you don't like you're at work. Well, that's because my work doesn't look like normal work. Hmm. Christ, I'm so tired. I fell asleep waiting for you to come home. No. Two drinks, and I'm out like a light. It's David. Happy Thanksgiving, honey. Happy Thanksgiving. Wake me when you get it, okay? <laughs> Hi. Where are you? Uh, at a diner. In my favorite booth. This is your way of making sure we don't do anything sexy. No, me on the topic. No, yes. 
You are. You know, for a few extra dollars, we can talk on the phone. It's much more intimate. Like we have a real boyfriend and girlfriend. And when I breathe into here, does it make the hair on the back of your neck stand up? And other parts, of course. <clears throat> you, uh, you do this a lot with your girlfriend as well? <laughs> Only with my favorites. Now that we have this more intimate connection, we should make use of it. Why don't you tell me something you've never told anyone else? Something bad. Hmm? Come on. Come on. Shock me. This wasn't part of the job. Huh. Agents of Johnny Webby have to shoot the kill just for special weapons. I don't know what happened to me. This was personal. He was a asshole. And he didn't. He didn't die. He was first. He shot with long sleep. He drowned his own blood. I watched him. He let him down. He deserved to be He was letting him down. Right or wrong, you're the guy holding the gun. Okay. You're done. All right? Well, you've done something you've never done anyone before. Okay. Well, I've never killed anyone. <laughs> How about uh, the time I lose my virginity? Hmm? Okay. It was summer. I was working in the courthouse to help my father out. He was a judge, and kept everyone in order. It was a very hot summer in Paris, and everyone was a little crazy. I was wearing the bathroom of my mother, which my father said was inappropriate for the daytime. And that was when I met Max. I was attracted to him. He had thick wrists, strong hands, with cars he said he got from their fights. There was a cop trying to blackmail him. Max suggested I proposition the officer, so I did. I took him to a room and let him have me. He used his necktie to tie my hands. He smelled of cigarettes and cheap after shave. And he fucked me like he was hungry for it. Max was he done with the camera. He waited till the cop was finished and then he jumped out. He threatened to show the video to my father and the cop stopped making trouble. And as a thank you, he let me keep the necktie. I've never told this story to anyone before. You better drink. You look thirsty. Hey, hey we're almost back. How's it going? I'm on stage. They've already painted my name on the backdrop, so... That's what I'm talking about. No, I feel good about singing without, like, my whole costume and all of my makeup, you know? And using my real name is, like... Please, you don't need anything to hide behind. Are you kidding? A hiding place is exactly what I need right now. Right, you know what? Here, check this out. Take this, okay? Boop. My invisible mask. Put it on. Okay, you know that story? I know yeah. the story. Uh, I mean, trust me. You're gonna be amazing. You're gonna be great. There's nothing in my dreams. Just some ugly memories. Kiss me like the ocean breeze. It's hard to sing someone else's songs. It feels like it's more about me. It's about my take on it. When I sing my own stuff, no one knows how it can sound different. I mean, the song is about how they hear it. It's about them. What are you doing? Stop. If they continue, I'm on my way back. I'm gonna get a front row seat and shoot this thing across there. Don't you dare! Sorry, sorry bye. Please, please. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot that one out of the after this. Oh, well, here's your seat. Okay, nice. How's she feeling? Oh, she's nervous, but she knows the music. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Welcome back to the second half of our amazing winter recital. I hope you're refreshed. Please remember to keep yourself off for silent consideration and no flash of talk. First up, we have Emily Davis from Class 3B. She will be playing the Garden Balls. <laughs> Yeah. Next up, we have Alva Smith from 2B. 
Shifts, and of course, it's National Record Store Day, so I didn't get a moment to myself. I mean, who needs that much for you shooting Donna Lionel? You can come over if you want them. Mm, no, I'm pretty tired too. I'm gonna get a really start tomorrow. So. With Eric? No. Yeah, yeah. You're okay, right? With me hanging out the organizing group? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Eric's a friend. He used to tease me because my grandma scouted the Axel Strike, but he's a serious guy. Hmm. I mean, I wasn't talking about Eric, actually, because you don't like his friend Peter, do you? Fuck Peter. Okay. Is there anything I should know? Mm, he's a dick, that's all. He's a dick. Okay, you want me to hang out with you while you sleep? No, it's okay. I've got my glowworm with me tonight. It's cute, ungendered, and it doesn't take up all the space in my bed. Ah, looks like I got some competition. Hey, David. Oh, hey, worm. Hey, are you, are you, are you putting the moves on my girl, bro? Your girl? I've been with Ava since she was 12. We go way back. You're the new guy! Yes, true, but I can do things for Ava that you can't. Ooh, you wanna bet? I'm 12 inches of ribbed plastic, and I'm warm. <laughs> That's what kids told me, <laughs> Yeah, but he's seen me turn from girl to woman. You know, he's seen it all. Wait, you just said it's ungendered. Hmm? Hmm? Plastic. Yeah. You know, they discontinued these because they made of, like, toxic plastic or something. So my mom got them real cheap. <laughs> yeah, no big surprise that the radioactive glow-in-the-dark bug wasn't entirely harmless. Yeah, I think she figured that I wouldn't try and eat it, so... So when do I get to meet your mom? Uh, if you want to choose a plane ticket to the floor, I can arrange something. But I'm warning you, if you meet my mom and she doesn't like you, it's, like, over. High stakes. But I hear floor is nice, though. Yeah, uh, that's where people go to die ordinary. Okay. Good night! Good night, worm. Uh, I want to play that back out of that yeah, I need to put you guys out to me at uh, Silverish. You guys are really serious. You know, I'll pack one of the issues. At California, I knew this group of protests at the Gallup Candy Road. You know, that uh, hard man up there. And I know if I'm going to have a benefit. Yeah, impress me. You know, I really did. And I moved back up here to try to organize my life. Because I want to do something. Possibly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, you know, I think it was really awkward. Just like these kids out there. Just keep going straight, take a right up here. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, insurance? Oh yeah, uh, the way password does, they have two major insurance providers because they can't work on any of the built-ins their own insurance. Uh, you can look that all up on their private page, download the numbers on your phone, and give me the right ring. And about people, I know the top decision makers are in each office, you have their social, keep following until they have to act. Yeah, but that's where we go. No. Uh, did you guys, you guys heard about the Diablo folk? They did. They bought a subscription to a firearms magazine for one of the shareholders, but it was under his kid's name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it worked, because I think he resigned. Like, all right, let's keep it classy, guys. These people are looking for any excuse they can find to make us the bad guys. Let's not paint a target on our backs. We'll be here, dude. Uh, yeah, and it's a right up here, but yeah. There's another ops coming up. Yeah, we use gasoline to around the valve sites, but I guess torches would be more effective. Uh, one more right right here. Yeah, and then I think it's just up here on the right. You just pull over wherever. Yeah, we're here? Yeah, we're in the spot. Do they know we're coming? Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody out. Thank you, David. David, you can tell us that David is such a good shot. What? Oh, no, nothing. Just because I beat both of you guys on that uh, arcade game for one of the games before you go. Oh. No. Mm -hmm. I'm going to come down. Yeah, he's just going to play that video. Yeah. And David, I'm going to go people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'd be a beer. Do you want to do that? Okay. Uh, I like him. I love Hollywood stuff. Nice. He seems like the kind of guy you love by your side. Same kind of hair. What? He said it was consensual. <laughs> but sometimes the girls would wake up and they didn't know what happened. Fuck. Fuck Eric. By the time I found out, it was old news, you know, and I told myself, it's just a scene. There's lots of drugs and sex going on, you know. Ava was attracted to Peter. Peter knew who all the bands were. Ava wanted to make a name for herself. She was very impressed by him, okay? So how old, how old was it? She said she was 18, but she wasn't. <laughs> so Ava accused Peter, and everybody took sides, and I told myself that I needed to be impartial. Mm -hmm. I let her down. Yeah, you did what was I supposed to do, David? Call the police? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're already looking for any excuse to take us down. I couldn't do that. I didn't even have any facts. I just I told myself it was a private matter between two people. Mm. It was a one-off, and I just didn't want to see it happen there. No. Peter is trying to be a good man. Yeah. And you, I mean... What about me? Well, he's still out there walking the streets, so I'm not so sure. I mean, how are you going to make this right? I don't think I can make this right, David. Not now. Well, brother, it's next to it. I gotta smoke. Uh, no, 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 here. Gotta smoke on the roof. I'll go with you. My plane looks out for a little bit. Great. Wow, yoga tits. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna smoke Hey, baby. It's been you look. Doesn't have a Valentine's Day, it's the busiest week of the year. You girls get all the traffic, so it's a new me, a new name, a new look. I'm athletic and smart. This one plays a little too young for my taste. See, I add blonde to my tags, and a hundred guys show up asking me to call them daddy. And your accent? Mm -hmm. oh, I am no longer French. It's the story. If it helps, my, my mother was French. Most of it is her story. Mm -hmm. I inherited and put it to you. Doesn't this upset your, uh, your regulars? Or... Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is no loyalty in this business. You all like fresh meat, and you don't tip enough to be regular. Hey, just yoga tips, no more simple than so what? So. Don't be mad, David. No, I'm not. We're still here, talking. I like hanging out with you. But there is a limit to how deep you go on here. I'm behind this class right here. Do you see that? And this is my own Anyway, you are a good guy. I actually like you. <laughs> Can we start over? 
Oh, that was your take home? No, don't do that, okay? Use your rules. Don't be angry. I'm not a golden, I'm not you. Okay. So I'm not. No, it's this asshole. This, this asshole, he did some bad things to a friend of mine a few years ago. I found out about it. Well, tell me about it. She was underage, she had the drugs, and he made videos. You know what's her? Self righteous, of course. You know, he's in the next level of self righteous. Kill him. One less grief in the world to start. Are you telling me this so I can talk you down? No, no, it's not happening. It's not happening. All right. In prison, the other actors will be nice. Well, why not do both? Beat his ass, and then put him on yours. Maybe pretty smart for a blonde. Or I should see. We play around for a bit. Relax. No, you really want to be a regular me to consummate this thing, Davey. Let's do that. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. So, did you get my gift? Oh, is that what this is? Yeah. Go on, open it. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> really? Was it not your size? Uh, no, I'm sure the size is fine. I just, I don't know. What, am I supposed to wear this on camera for you? Or what, wait for your next royal visit? Last time you were here, we didn't even screw. Yeah, that was because- Look, look, I've made peace with this. I've made peace with the fact that you're off on some crusade, and I'm making do, but don't pretend like I'm- Don't send me lingerie. Next roses. Oh, someone left them for me at work, okay? Don't look at me like that. That's the way Papa used to look at Mama, it's poison. And Mama has been entirely dependent on me for love for 30 years, and I'm not gonna do that to Alba. What the hell are you talking look, about? I'm not talking about- I mean, just don't- don't send me underwear. You're my wife. You know what? Look, I'll visit again soon, okay? Okay, well, I'll give us a warning next time because it yeah. freaks out that we need to yeah, show Yeah, well, sure it does. I will. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got you. Love you. Happy Valentine's Day. What the fuck, David? You beat Peter up? Look, Ava, Eric told me what he did to you, okay? Eric. Well, he, he well, told me that he did. drugged you and then he made videos. Why didn't you tell me this? Look, we were in a relationship. I knew what I was well, doing. Peter, David was wrong and he belongs in prison, okay? <laughs> you're not the law. Talk to me. I get to decide if I'm a good person. Then why do still have those tapes, Ava? You have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You're gonna get arrested. You don't make me sure. Okay, I was protecting you. I never asked you to. Look, back then the group sided with him, and yeah, that felt shitty. But hey, it sucks to be a woman. And now what are they gonna do? Hmm? Oh, her boyfriend just beat up our friend. I guess she's okay after all. I mean, this whole thing is fucked. And I'm stupid because I expected better of you. You can take your gifts back. You didn't open it. No, I didn't open it. What's inside? Beer scalp? Open it. Open it. What is it? Yes, yeah, it's Valentine's, and uh, I thought it'd be fun for us to start living together. Or at least for you to feel comfortable calling my place your home. So. I don't know what to say. I know. I'm fucking furious. And you deserve to be, okay? You deserve everything in this, in this world, Ava. You know? And, and you deserve sesame tofu and Singapore noodles if you want to come back to dinner tonight. Yeah. Hey, hon. Good, thanks. I went down early, so I'm just winding down. It's a lovely night. Always a lovely night in California. Oh, well, at least Michigan has weather. That must be exciting. Weird joke. Okay. Why do pigeons always fly upside down over Detroit? I don't know. Why do pigeons always fly upside down over Detroit? <laughs> How do you do it? Do what? These people you're with, they've known you for months now. And when they look into your eyes, they see a friend. So how do you return their smiles and laugh at their jokes when none of it is true? It's easy. I make sure that it's true. I smile because I like them and I laugh because they're funny. But it's all a lie. No, it's real. Well, if it's that easy, then you could do anything. <laughs> Have you slept with anyone? No. Have you slept with anyone? No. We both lied about it. Come on. Listen, Mama, I gotta go. Dada. Hey, babe. I can't sleep. Well, why not? I don't know, I just can't. Mama bought me a nightlight, but I don't like it. Yeah, why not? Because it's pink. You don't like pink? Since when? Since today. Okay. Can you tell me a bedtime story? Oh, babe, come on. Um, alright, alright, I'll read you a story if you promise to stop being so grumpy. I promise, I'll get my princess book. Well, no, it's no, it's okay, honey. I don't, I don't need the, I don't need the book. I, I know them all by heart now. Okay, listen. You, you have to close your eyes, though. Okay, you gotta start to sleep. It's really, really, really late here. Okay. 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 Let's see. All right. All right. Once upon a time, there were two young girls who lived on the edge of the woods with their mother. And one winter, they went in into their garden and they found a bear. And the bear looked really ill. But the two girls, they couldn't bear to see him like that. So they took him into their house and they gave the bear some water and they gave him food and they, they lit a really nice big warm fire in the fireplace that was in the room and they even let the bear sleep in their bed. Okay. But the next day. The bear was gone. And so, look. I like that stuff. Okay, me too. All right. So, later in the summer, the girls were sent into the woods to collect some berries. And in a clearing, they saw a small old man with a long white beard that was stuck in a tree trunk. His beard was stuck in the tree trunk. And he yelled to the girls, please come help me, pull me free, help me, help me. And, and the girls, they tried to help him and they cut his beard, but they couldn't pull him free, try as they might. And as a last resort, though, they took out the knives they had and they cut the old man's white beard off, setting him free. But the ungrateful man is so furious at him because they cut his beard off and he yells at him and he runs off into the woods, mean old man. And then a week later, in the forest again, this time they're collecting water. 
And as they're filling their pail at the river, they hear, again, the old man scream. He's stuck on a rock in the middle of the river. And he's surrounded by rapids, you know, he's just trapped in the river. And he yells at him, help me, help me. And so they think, quick, and they, they make a rope from their sashes out of their dresses, and, they, and then they throw it to the man, and when he grabs it, they pull him to the shore to safety. But the, the old man yells at him again because he's furious they got his clothes wet, and he screams at him and runs off into the woods. And then another week passes, and the girls are in the woods collecting firewood this time, and all of a sudden they're surprised because that old man jumps out of the bush again. And he's screaming, he's screaming, help, help, he says, this bear, he's trying to kill me, this bear's trying to kill me. And out of the woods steps a bear, a big, huge bear, and he towers over the old man, and the old man, he, he points at his two girls, and he says, kill them instead, he pleads. But, but the bear ignores the old man with one swipe of the bear's big paw, he poof, kills him. And the very second the old man dies, the bear is transformed into a handsome prince. And the prince explains that the old man cast a spell on him a year ago after stealing his treasure, and with the dwarf dead, the spell is broken, and soon after, Snow White marries the prince, and Rose Red marries his brother, and everyone lives happily ever after. Oh, Jesus. David. Excuse me. Oh, that's sweet. You okay? Sure. You know, they don't pay anesthesiologists the big bucks to put people to sleep. It's because you can yeah, make them up again afterwards. <laughs> I just broke things off with him because I felt bad lying to him. But uh, screwing him, that felt like breaking a spell. David, why don't you just tell yeah, me what you were doing over there? Yeah, I'm special agent of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Hi, Davey. Hi, Yogi Diz. I thought you'd like it. I'm warm up quick. I got your present. You did? Mm hmm. It was uh, so generous and unexpected. Okay. Most guys, they buy stuff off my wish list, but you surprised me. Well, happy belated Valentine's, you know? So, wait, you do like it though, right? Yes. Wait here. Okay. Great. I just make all the cash. Yeah. They're the only minority you can charge me. Well, I knew it would look good on you. It's good quality. They say it's real hair, so it has a nice feel, doesn't it? You know, you've got a second cruise and makeovers if the spice doesn't work out for you. Right. So, um, how'd it go with the creep? Yeah. Went over there and spoke to him and escalated. Hmm. He's sleeping with the fishes now. I'm guessing whatever he did, you got away with it. Well, there they are. It's the police. They've come to take me away, so just promise me to visit me in prison. I promise. Break down report three times now. Unless I missed it, no one report is there an operational justification for the assault on the individual coding sleep. Yeah, well, Aaron doesn't always know that the plan changes on the ground, let's be honest. Okay, and your your plan to negotiate yourself in a group is almost still half its leadership? He was taking up a number two spot, Mike. Right? Besides, now no one would believe an FBI. What agent would be up on a member of the group he's trying to infiltrate? Hmm? I'm having a hard time believing your FBI now. Which is good, right? Hmm? So I got an official record, man, true, but I'm still in. I think horrible about looking the other way, Bobby Peter. I was the only one who had the balls to deal with a dirty little secret. You need to provide documentation of the conspiracy to spread the law. Yeah, I hear you. But remember, long games, get in the but the public needs to see evidence in these cases of the American Jihadists. Come on, you've never been close to flipping anyone near Brinsville. Yeah, I'm just worried you're a little too emotional about them. These are not calculated blows. No, wrong. I'd let myself get injured. Okay? Besides, there's good news. The Garrett's report, you have to mention. Tell me. Ava's moving in with you. You're enjoying this too much. Well, yeah. You're getting to split the house for. What's up? That look like a real relationship, right? Real relationships are messy. This operation has too many moving parts. I got this all under control. I promise. Hi there. Welcome to our resistance headquarters, or as we sometimes call it, our bedroom. Yeah, this bed is where we sleep, where we dream, and it's where our resistance starts. The press burn is building a liquid gas pipeline across the heart of Michigan. The pipeline would transport gas for export and sale outside of America. Look, the disruption caused by the pipeline, the risks of elite, all for the sake of corporate profits, I mean, the pipeline is a disaster and a crime. The crisis in Kalamazoo River in 2013 would be nothing compared to a natural gas disaster. Already, groups of environmental soldiers are making camps along the pipeline route to block and sabotage the attempted construction. Yeah, but there are ways that you can help too. Easy ways that don't require you to get out of bed. <laughs> Check out the links below for details of everything we're talking about here. Prosperin is owned by shareholders and investors, and they operate purely for profit. If we hit them financially, they will notice. Prosperin is traded on special exchange, which requires market makers to enable them to have their stock bought and sold. We uh, provided a list of all market makers currently used by Prosperin. That's down right there. And we are going to work our way down this one. <laughs> um, please call them up and tell them that you don't want them working with Prosperin. Call them when they're sleeping, email them a lot, send snail mail, make them feel unhappy enough, stop trading Prosperin. It's a crippled company financially, where they really feel it. But this is why the last year the Federal Bureau of Investigation called Green Group's the number one domestic terror threat. Really. Follow the money. And they find a way to take that money from the corporations who live to exploit the people. Ava and I are going to stay in this bed until this is done. <laughs> Stop the pipeline, stay in bed. It's Davey. Hey, Davey. I love the way. I've worn you for three shows so far. I'm getting masochist and hmm. so easy to push around. No, I'm sorry, Did you see today's special? No, I just logged on. Well, you just bought yourself a hypnotism show. Uh, you know that I, I don't. No, no, no. This is the rules. You have to play along. Here I go. <laughs> so, what, you're supposed to, you're hypnotized, you're supposed to do whatever I say? Is that it? Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, hard to about. <laughs> Alright, stop working. <laughs> uh, sing a song. Uh, 
don't eat, I don't sleep, I do nothing but think of you. I don't eat, I don't sleep, I do nothing but think of you. You keep me under your spell, you keep me under your spell, you keep me under your spell. Tick tock. Ah, uh, no, stop. What's your real name? Where do you live? My name is Melissa. You like me? I live in New York City. You like talking to me? No. What do you really think about me? Yes. What? Dang, <laughs> Reed. You are the worst. Next time I'm going to hypnotize you. Okay, before you go, you have to say wake up, or else I'll just stay hypnotized. It's Melissa. Say it. Melissa. Okay. Mm -hmm. When I snap my fingers, wake up. With her all day about mom. She wants to get more in home care, and I think we need to send her someplace where she can just not be helpful. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's not safe here anymore. It's not practical. She's ill. You know, she's got dementia. I'm terrified of that happening. You know, I think about Barry dying and, and my mom finding out someday. I'm just... I've been thinking a lot about why I didn't trust you with the truth about Peter. <laughs> I, I always thought that I was angry at the group. Really, I was just angry at myself. And I was angry at you. I didn't want you coming in and fighting my battles for me. I mean, I still don't. I do. But I trust you. I don't want there to be any secrets between us. No secrets. I don't want you talking, but it's late here. I don't want to wake anybody up. It's fine. David. Yeah, I honestly recognize yeah, you. Know then we had a desert island for the last month, went native, so. Well, it's good on you. Yeah. <laughs> I stopped uh, using this account for business a little while ago. I don't use it to chat with my kids and my hookups, so you were in very wow, privileged company just, here. Don't believe talking on me, okay? Here. So listen, um. How do you guys? Yeah, I'm going to get a big rampart. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad you moved your money. Smells so clean, you know? <laughs> what do you need? Quite the party, so I'm looking at the dollar. How much can you have to contact her? Sure. Yeah. Good. I can help you out with that. Tomorrow. What do you need? Yeah, to yeah tomorrow. We're going to have a boss on you by then. You look worried, Larry. You're not making really short notice. Or just, no, no. It, uh, it just, uh, I got pulled together. It's gonna be like 50 per. 50? So did you, uh... Wait, you know how you get prices up on me though, right? Wait, look me in the eye? Look me in the eye? No. You want to get prices up on me? No. Okay? Dude, I'm not. Look, look you know I'm not. Just, I, I can see what I can do, but I mean... We can just always go okay, up 25. I'm not even about the price. I don't care about the price. I care about whether or not I can trust you or not. Okay? Because I'd be, I'd be happy okay. for 50. Let me just let that be known. Okay, okay. Here's the deal. Okay, you're gonna be tomorrow at our favorite restaurant. Okay, it's gonna be 1 o'clock. Okay. Nitri. 1 o'clock. Good. Or something nice. Take that thing off, okay? Yeah. Or something nice? This doesn't look good to you? Go to hell, David Miller. Okay, the other two should be around the back. Let's pick them up. They are freaking out. You were there? No. His sister called me. God damn it. Oh. Alright, where are the guys? Which way? Oh. Right here, right here, right here. Okay. Yo, what's the fuck happened? They raided into this apartment, another, and they found a lot of drugs. And we're all friends with Peter. Yeah, I'm not afraid of these, alright? We turned his ass too long. That guy's a creep. And that's a drug dealer too? He needs to distance ourselves from him. This could be a state that the police can use to beat us all. That's exactly what it is. What? Well, come on, dude's an asshole. He's not a drug dealer. You, you know that. Uh, I mean, you think you know what person is? Really? I don't know. This to me smells like a total leverage play, right? The police, they, they set him up and then they get to interrogate him themselves and then flip him. Why would they do that? Yeah. No, David, I don't know. It seems like a lot of efforts pull off a stunt like this. So, so what? They're gonna make Peter an informant now? You wouldn't do that. They wouldn't. Because look at that. It's a prosper. They are feeling the worst, so they're gonna get back however they can. The guy they think is easiest to flip. Yeah, that's exactly right. See, Chris is right. Eric, you can't be this naive, right? To think that this drug thing is legit. It is a fed, what do we do? We lay low. We, we protest peacefully and we exercise the democratic rights to organize to ask questions. Is it anything? It's not a jury. We need to fight back. It's a what? So what? This is a war now? Yeah. I'm with David. We need to ask what? No, 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 no. There's only talking about war. Come on. Right? I'm just doing the war. Okay. Yeah, ready. Okay, first, I want confirmation that anything they took from Peters, including all of the video, is destroyed. Not in evidence and not archived. I want it destroyed. Clear? Destroyed. Hey, second, this is form of yours, uh, Dopey. He's trying my patience. Have this clothes look brand new, Mike. And the, the questions he asks, I mean, they're just straight up to serve a judge. It's so obvious. You have to pull it. Okay, I would like you to treat Chris like one of your team. No, no, he is a liability and listen to me. Where is this boat? Okay, because I need to push them now, Mike, now while they're really over here. It, it would be this week. Everything is proceeding exactly as promised. Don't lie to me, Mike. Come on. I'm not in the habit of lying. The accounts clear the funds a week ago, everything got wired. Yeah, and everything's legit because I'm not gonna deal with any of this dining bullshit. No one stresses the details more than me. The boat's completely clean. The paper trail has David Jones, the owner, for the last three years. Okay, good. I had to name it, the Little Mermaid. Look, I'm sorry, Mike. We did the hard part, man. And I'm getting nervous. I can't get tripped up here. It's understood. The adrenaline's are helping focus. Look, our ability to plan executes what we do best. That's what makes us superior. Hello, dear. Hey, Laura. Um, I wasn't expecting you. Uh, you feeling okay? Did I call you or did you call me? Is, is Emma there? Mm -hmm. Laura? No. Oh. She's at her tennis club. Emma hates tennis. <laughs> Don't be silly. Texas backhand, they call her. My little champion's going for all state this time. Of course, she's gonna have to put the work in. You're too soft on her, Daniel. It's David. It's David, Laura. David, the new boy. Who's one before? Always brought her roses. Paul. 
Paul. That's right. He was always so polite. Always would hold the door open for her. I appreciate well, that. Paul was a bad man. She's always bringing home these boys she needs at the hospital. And I tell you, every time there's something wrong with him, David seems dependable. He's handsome, too. Reminds me of you when you were younger and wore those sharp suits. Okay, um... Would you like me to have my daughter call you when she gets No, no. No, it's fine. You, you know, you, you take care of her. Okay. Hey, babe. Are you being good? Me mom's very sick. They pull a special bag home. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. Your mama told me. I'm sorry. I'm not. I still have my little worms. Me, 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 me. Okay, okay. That's, that's the best way to manage it. She's my favorite present. I never put it down. I'm so glad you like her. Me, 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 Maybe she'll be okay, I don't, I don't know. Is this one of the good lies you tell that make people feel well? No, you are getting too grown up for your own good, okay? The doctor told me I've any yolk. You did? What time do you go to the dentist? I don't know. What time do you go to the dentist? 2.30. That's <laughs> fine. I'll tell Mama to call you. Wait, no, I... Yeah! Oh, uh, hey, babe. Me, my dad's dead. I had to go in a special bed, but Mommy yelled at me. Yeah, things are a little hard right now, honey, so we just have to be strong for That's what the doctor said. Are you going to tell me a bedtime story? Uh, okay, sure. You, you, I'm pulling my book now. Make one up. Oh, okay, I'll just, uh, all right, um, do you know the story oh, of Robert Stilton? No, can I hear it? Mm-hmm. Okay, sure, yeah. Um, all right, let me see if I can remember. Um, okay, well, once upon a time, there was a girl, and she was the daughter of a miller, I think, which is a kind of farmer, and she had the most beautiful blonde hair, and it was so beautiful, it caught the sun like Not a princess? So beautiful. Well, maybe she becomes one, just shh, wait a second, all right. So, her father, he liked to tell tall tales, okay, and one day he boasted to the king that his daughter was so talented that she could spin straw into pure gold. Right? And the king, he called him out on his bluff, and he summoned the girl, and he said that if she could truly make gold from straw, that he, he would allow her to marry his son, the prince. But if not, okay. he'd chop off her head, okay? Yeah, because he's a very to marry his son? Well, I mean, then she'll be a queen, and in the old days, most of the girls were prince, right? So, I like that. Anyway, the king, he locks the girl in a tower with a spinning wheel and a small pile of straw. He says he's going to return in the morning, all right, to see if she has made the straw into gold. And the night passes, and in the morning, she's given up all hope, right? And all of a sudden. A little small strange man appears, okay? And he asks her if she has any wishes. And she says she wishes to turn the strong to gold, right? And so the imp says he can do such a thing, but first she must give him her necklace. So the girl gives up her necklace, of course, and the imp, he sits at the spinning wheel, and he starts to spin, and he spins, and he spins, and he spins, and he produces this pile of golden thread. And then there's this knock at the door, right? Because it's morning, and, and he just disappears, and the king comes in, and there's this small pile of gold, and he is amazed. The king is so amazed, but he's suspicious because he thinks this might be a fluke, you know what I mean? So he moves her to a second tower with an even bigger pile of straw. And again, same challenge. Spin the straw on the gold by morning, or off with your head. So the girl waits and waits all night long, and then again, just before dawn, that little imp appears, okay? And this time he demands her ring. So of course she gives him a ring, and he spins the gold into straw, and then he disappears, and the king comes in, and there's this pile of gold, and the king is almost convinced. But for a final time, he throws her in a third tower with a huge pile of straw, and he says, you gotta turn this straw into gold, and he leaves. And yet again, just before dawn, that imp appears. But the girl, she doesn't have any jewelry left, right? So what's she gonna do? And the imp says, if you give me your firstborn child, I'll turn this straw into gold. And the girl, she's so terrified that she says, yes, of course, of course. And the imp, he spins the entire huge pile of straw into gold. And right before the king walks in, he disappears. And the king opens up the door. And he's so excited, he can't believe it. And he says, truly, you are magical, he says. That's his voice. And then the very next day, the girl, she's married to the prince, right? And, and despite all the weirdness of this marriage, they actually really like each other. In fact, they fall in love. And two years later, that little girl, now a princess, What she did, Penny? She last touched her bump. I asked where she got it, and she said, mind my own business. Okay, um, thank you for that. Now, in the summer, she gives birth to this beautiful baby daughter. Okay, but her, her happiness without this new little girl, it's, it's short-lived because guess who comes back? The imp. The imp reappears and he says, I, I found you to my reward, he says. And the baby is mine. And the princess, she sobs and she offers him like all the riches in the, in the kingdom. But he insists. He says, I want that baby. And she begs, she begs and pleads to her. And finally, the imp says, okay, if you can guess my name within three days, you can keep the baby. But if not, the baby is mine, as we agreed. And he leaves. And the princess, she is distraught. I mean, she immediately sends all of her staff and her servants out to the kingdom to figure out this little imp's name. But by midnight of that first day, no one's been able to track down anything or the creature or his name. And the imp, he appears and he asks her, what is my name? And she guesses, is it David? And he laughs. He says, no, two more guesses. And he leaves. And the next day, nothing. Nobody comes back with any information. And he arrives again at midnight. Steven. And she guesses this time. No, 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 it's not. And he says, no. <laughs> Last thing, okay? He says, no. And he leaves. It's not Stephen. And the next day, the princess is so upset. Because she doesn't know what to do. She only has one more guess, one more day. So she leaves the baby with her servants. And she just walks into the forest. Because she's so worried she's going to lose her baby. And she wanders and wanders all day. And into the evening, she wanders. And suddenly, she comes on a small clearing. Okay, in a little field. In that little field is a little tent, and in the center of it, there is a little small fire, and she hides. She hides behind a bush. And out of the tent, to her amazement, out comes the imp. And he's dancing around the fire, right? And he sings, Today, today, plans I make. Tonight, tonight, the baby I take. The princess will never win the game for Rumple Stiltskin is my name. And smiling to herself, the, the princess runs back to the castle because she heard his name. And that evening, the imp arrives, right? And he's kind of gloating, and he asks her his name. And the princess kind of looks at him, you know, she's kind of pretending. To be sad, and she gnashes her teeth a little bit, but then she looks him in the eye and she says, 
Your name's Rumpel Stiltskin. And he, his eyes bulge, and it looks like he's gonna burst, and his head goes, I mean, red, he shakes it like he's gonna explode, and all of a sudden it's. Uh, no, oh, he should just go away and never come back. Okay, well, then Rumpel Stiltskin ran away and he never came back, and the princess became queen, and her daughter grew up to be a wonderful queen in her own right, and everyone. That was a good story. I guess being queen would be good. Yeah? What do you think the emperor's going to yeah. do with it? Was he going to eat it? That's a good question. Uh, I don't know, maybe he was, uh. Maybe he was lonely. What's going I just told you have to write the author's message for every story. Was Rumpel Stilskin the bad guy? You do? I guess. Uh, I mean, now you mentioned it, most of the people in the if story queen, were bad. I would chop off their heads. <laughs> you would? Okay. Well, honey, I, I have to go out, I'm afraid, so. But yeah, you, I think you got your glow warm, right? Oh, I love that name. That's a great name. All right, come here. Give me a kiss real quick. Mm -hmm. Love you, kid. Night-night. Night-night. I don't know, I, I think it's serious. And I'd like to know if anybody else here agrees that maybe it's time you talk about it. You said before that this was a war, perhaps that's right. Okay, uh, question. Um, why, why are you so keen for us to imprint ourselves? <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm just... <laughs> no, you know you, you know you remind me of, Chris? Um, Sorry? You, you remind me of this guy's online. Uh, his name is Chris McMillan. Simon? Is that Simon Simon McMillan? Great X Army? Works for Black Eyed Logic, everybody's got military contract. I don't know Yeah, no, you can look a lot like But you, you can't be that Simon McMillan, right? Because they never make you a corporate fight for prosper, right? Hmm? Chris, what is this? Chris, hey, look, guys, come on, let's talk about this, okay? So this is true, then. Okay, he's telling us right now. What the fuck, Chris? Yeah, yeah, see? Everybody, this is Simon McMillan, okay? He is a he is an employee of Black Kite, sent on behalf of Prospering, okay, to spy on our meetings. You are trying to inform on our constitutionally protected activities, pal. It's called entrapment. You cut! And I had to over for dinner! In my home! Hey, 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 For so him. She uh, she died around 4 a.m. I asked the nurse to wake me if it happened. Uh, she was uh, really in and out the last week, you know, just under really heavy sedation. But she never really uh, woke up enough for us to have a final goodbye. We didn't talk about Papa. You know, there's no deathbed conversion. But, you know, her lying there, it was it was easier to see her for what she was. You know, she was a woman in a bad marriage who was just doing the best she could. Bad marriage? Look, Emma, I'm, I'm not going to be able to make this funeral. I'm sorry. It's, uh, this mission is just intense now. David, I don't care about the funeral. We need to talk. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's talk. Next time you're here. I want, to, I want to be able to look in your eyes. Wait, Emma. Happy birthday to you. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear mom. Happy birthday to you. Oh, honey, thank you. I miss everything. I love you, mom. I love you, too. Barry set up the TV so we can see you on the big screen. Hi, Emma. Hi, How's the freezing you know, It's colder this year. Thank you so much for sending those winter socks. <laughs> Appreciate it. Okay, so <clears throat> here is David. Oh. Hi, happy birthday, Mrs. Martin. Oh. I've heard uh, so much about you. Call me mom. Oh, okay. Um, how's, uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. How's, uh, how's Florida? Oh, Florida is a paradise. Did Ava tell you that we moved out here for my husband's lunch? No. It has been a lifesaver. Okay. We wanted Ava to come out here with us, but she moved to Ann Arbor instead. Detroit was a boom town in my day. You two are just too young to know about it. Oh, honey, I miss you so much. How are the lessons going? Um, Ma, I told you I had to take a break with us. I need to make a little bit more cash. Yeah, those lessons are so expensive. It's criminal. You know, Detroit just got too dangerous for me, David. I had to move out of there. You know, it's not the neighborhood, either. It's the police. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was getting stopped every week. But I guess you don't have to worry about that. Okay, Mom, you don't need to teach David about this. I'm a great system. Uh, no, no ma'am, but that's that's a shame. I mean, I used to live in Detroit, but you know, it was a lot different back then. And now, mm -hmm. I lived in L.A. recently, so I know a thing or two about black cops. Right. Hollywood! Yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, Mary and I took a vacation a few years back. Awfully dirty. Yeah, I have to admit, we prefer our Disney in Florida. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> fair, fair enough. Well, it's awfully nice to meet you, David. Yeah, it's nice to meet you too, guys. What do you do for work, young man? Um, I'm, I'm between jobs at the moment, but you know, I got some money to put away, so you know, make a plan. He has a boat. I oh. the boat is more of a hobby, but I like to work on it. So you know. well, hopefully, you work on more than a boat. Maybe need the right man to help her settle down. Well, I don't, I don't know if I'm that. So because I, you know, I wouldn't want to change anything about it. It's her spirit that's precisely what attracted me to her. Well, you are making my girl smile, so that's all that matters. You know she's gonna be famous one day. I know she is. Don't be bashful. You have a beautiful voice. Yeah. You blush. Anyway, <laughs> we have to go. We have to go okay, anyway. we have, we gotta go. Oh, we have to go. Wrap this up. I love okay. you so much. Sweetheart, I Big love day. you so much. It's so good to see you so happy. Thank you, Mom. Yeah. I love you. I love nice you. to meet you guys. Nice meeting you. Bye. Hello? Who are you? I'm Ava. Who are you? 
I'm Alba, and this is Glowy. Hi, Glowy. Are you a baddie? A baddie? You're in my daddy's baddie house. Your daddy? Jeez. Look, will you come over? I want to talk to you face to face. I'll hear what you have to say, but I can't be alone with you right now. I think this is too good to be true. Who? Listen to me. Why did you have to keep it a secret from me, huh? Fuck. Listen to me. I, I was young, okay? And I knew the kid was better off without me. And so, so I, I ran, and, and I let everyone down. You know, I and mean, we just started talking again last year, and I support them, I send them the money, but I don't, I don't deserve to, for them to be a part of my life yet. I don't. I mean, do, do you understand that? Almost. And I, I, I was a, she's a special kid, and her, her mother's never gonna forgive me. But we're past that now, and I, I have to, I have to prove to them, you know, that I can be trusted, so that I can be a bigger part of the life. You know? Fuck. Dude, ugh, is this why you went out of town last month? Yeah. Yes. Did you buy her the glowworm toy? It was a birthday present. Are you gonna come on the boat with me? Ugh, the fuck yeah, listen to me. This is me. This is the part of me trying to be a better person. Okay, Ava? You know, everything's gonna be very important. I need you with me. Everything's gonna yeah, I know, I know. I know. Everything's right. happening faster than it should, Ava. I, I, I came back here looking for calls. Okay, and I found one. But then I found you. And, and I want I want you both. I want, I want it all. Fine, I want your fucking boat. Please, she has a name. Oh, what's your dumb boat's I, name? I didn't, I didn't name her. It's the uh, Little Mermaid. Your boat's name is Little Mermaid? Yeah, it was Mermaid. too cheap to have it. Made it over and it kind of grew on me. I mean, I have a paintbrush. I can fix oh, so it. we need a new name? Oh, we need a new okay. name. You can come home? Come home. Now. Okay. Okay, let's go. Finish up. Get the tab. Let's go. Come home. Okay. See you in 10. On board with the Jane Dean. Come on, you got from investors on movie he was producing mm -hmm. when they went bankrupt. Yeah, but I like to think it was just a worker cleaning sports. Yeah. Just had a hard time wrapping my mind around your previous life, man. Yeah. yeah, you and me both. Permission to come aboard? That's on mission grand. David. It's a real order. 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 It's a Right here, okay, this is a major section of the pipeline that's yet to be started. And what makes this area unique and why it's yet to be developed well, is an access to a street, okay? There are only uh, two roads that can support construction traffic, and they're both fed into this highway here, all right? This is Highway 75, and that highway crosses that bridge right there. It's the Salisbury Bridge. It's been Salisbury Bridge, 2,000 square feet. So, if we shut that bridge down, and people have to reroute all of this construction traffic all the way around to this bridge up here, okay? This would set them back months, and this would be a huge blow financially. Is that nice work? Can I put this on your own? Uh, well, I mean, and of course, Eric here pointed out that we are a little short on that power. So we only work if we have an organization behind it. Oh, I've done stuff like this, but it's never fun. We tried to shut down construction in Sansfield. We suspended ourselves over the highway for two days. State cops actually lit a fire under me. Yeah. They like to burn witches in Massachusetts. I, I remember watching that trial on TV. When you put that glass of water over that CEO's head, it's a big deal. Well, we're looking for a little more news. Well, we're looking for a little more theatrics. We are looking to do real damage across the country. Sure, but how long do you think you can hold the bridge? Mm -hmm. Half the cops now are ex-forces. They treat this stuff like it's Malaysia. Have you been anything like this before? A serious argument. Okay, Reed. I said I'm not sure the guy. And I meant it. Yeah, 92. Sure, you sweetie. You can tell that one. Okay, Reed. Let's just. <laughs> He's a good guy. How long you know him? Long enough. I know what she sees in him, but you? Look, he's serious, he's loyal, and he's not afraid of action. Honestly, sometimes he kind of scares me. You know, she'll fear. Okay, well, here you go. Alright, so you can help us enough. I'll take you in with the others at Convergence. Okay. They'll hear you out. Let's talk about the details outside. Close this now. Let's see. It's We were going to feel like I meant nothing. I was a little girl. She was pissing everyone, you know, and I really think we can, we can use her. So what are you doing? Anything with something that you walked up, David? Well, I think we're all past the point of a peaceful protest. Don't you? <laughs> if I gotta spend a day or even a month in a jail cell, it's a sacrifice in the middle of the day, right? You know, what do you think I was doing with Eric's friends? You know, this is the mission. Fuck the mission. David, we're having a baby. What? I'm pregnant. I mean, that's, that's in... That's in... That's incredible. Yeah? Yeah, that's... Wait, how, um... How long, how long have you known? A week? Dude, this could be your second chance. But we can do this together. We have to do this together, right? 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do. Better than the other people who can sacrifice themselves for the cause. Only you can be a father to this child. You want to change the world? I get it. Yeah, but for who? This is who. Okay, Ava. We have to. We have to think this through. Okay. I've thought it through. Yeah, no, I'm saying we have to think this through. I've thought it through. Trust me. David, I'm supposed to be something special. Okay, I, my music, I was... I was supposed to be a big deal, but... This, Eric, everybody, you know. I, um... I was drawn to them because they were different, because they wanted to change the world. You know? But my music's it's not good enough. I'm never gonna be famous. I wouldn't... I mean, there's nothing wrong with being ordinary. Ordinary can be magical. I've fallen in love with you, David. Okay, this, this feels right. Hey, I love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is... This is everything to me. Um, it really is true. Uh, Uh, but I know that I know that life comes at, at your waves, and um, you know it's possible to miss out on your chance. And I've definitely, I've definitely missed out on my chances before, and I'm not going to do that again. I, I have to be a part of this. I have to. Why is this so important? Because Ava, okay, it's Ava. I'm um. We we just trust me to this. Please. Please. We're having a baby, David. No. on the suspension. We were talking about getting a truck up there, maybe turning it over, flipping. I don't see anything to hold that long. I was in front of the icebreaker and they got through us two days. That was different though. They were going under the bridge. Two days a week. It still doesn't move the needle. Damn, come on, Andy, man. Uh -huh. All right, that's what you got. All right. Well, look, do I think we're going to change the world? No, I don't. But we have to do something. And if I can make the bridge disappear, then what? It doesn't need to disappear. It just needs to stop being the bridge. And this is where everyone will say, fortune favors the bull. Fortune favors the bull. Well, I do have a plan B. Go on. The bridge has four main support foundations, right? Now, if we attach explosives to one of those doors, just one, we take that whole bridge out. Like bridge over the river quad, right? We do it at night, so nobody gets hurt. You know, we just don't know where we can find that amount of explosives. They're called terrorists. Well, they already do. Right? In the history of America, bomb making is how you teach truth to power. Right? You want to stop the pipeline, right? This is where I'll get but So, let's stop the pipeline. Let's get it. Okay, it's Prosperance Projects, boom, poison our communities for generations to come. They're already hanging out the drive. Right, Saginaw, Midland, Flushy, Flint, you name Stop talking. You have them with the America and bombs fit. Just keep quiet. No matter what you want to talk, people hate silence. Let them fill it. And then you and I. We'll toast each other with some tofu dogs. That is so much. You want to run it? I'm mad at it. I can't break like that. Let's take some other one. That girl of yours, Evie? She tastes it. Uh, new neighbor. What the hell? Good job. Drop my book. Thank you. Thank you. The animal moves with us who takes for life, so I'm not going to I trust you when it comes to the music. Yeah, Eric and I are meeting Riordan in about an hour. Green storm in a circle. And honestly, I'm, I'm kind of freaking out. I really wish you were here. Just be careful, David. Nice enough chance that I actually take the security so serious these pat downs and dead drops, but I really mean I wish you were here. The sleeping bag is way too big for one, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I did the math, and I think that that sleeping bag is where we conceived. Remember that time it's Really? Wow, mm -hmm. a true child of the resistance. A uh, child of the universe. Conceived of the big. big? Oh. What's your mouth, David? Uh. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, I'd like to meet Alba. I feel closer to her carrying a brother or sister. Yeah, 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 I understand that. Um, we should, uh, I just, Alba's mother is... Well, she, you know, she doesn't know yet, so... Okay, well, you should tell them. I don't want there to be any bad blood. 
I want our child to feel connected to the whole family tree, all the branches. Have you, uh, have you thought more about names? No. It's such a responsibility. If it's a girl, hmm. Jane Mary Jones Martin. And if it's a boy, James David Jones Martin. Yeah, I hate my name. Let's get it out of there. Yeah, I've always wanted to change it. You hate your name? David, you good? Yeah, I'll be right out. Uh, I gotta go. Game time. Wish me luck. Mm. Love you. Love. And Jane. James. Whatever. I suspect he's gonna walk. Look. Um. Hey. Oh, wow. This is, uh, very cozy. These are the boys from Ann Arbor. The organizing group. We know where you're in. Yeah, we know where you are. So what's more? Well, um. We all, we all want to stop the stopping pipeline, right? And there's this major section of this yet to be started, and the reason it's yet to start is because access to that area is a little bit tricky. Um, the construction track would have to go through this ravine, and only, there are only two roads that feed into, and they're both fed into by Highway 75, which has to go up the Southport Bridge. And, um, well, if we could shut that bridge down, we could, we could make them reroute track all the way back around. This, this would set them back months, and this would be a huge blow financially. I don't get it. How long are you closing the bridge? Though? Well, uh, we think about a week or so. We talked about hanging tents on the suspension, um, maybe a truck up there. We can flip the truck. You know, that'd be something. I was saying, you think you'll hold it that long? I was in Florida for the iceberg. They got two days. Yeah, but that, that was different. Because they, they were on the bridge. Right. Two days a week. Still doesn't leave. Yeah. You're, look, you're right. A week does not change the world, right? But we have to do something. Okay. If I could make the bridge disappear, I would. I can't make the bridge disappear. Uh, okay. But, uh, there is, there's another thing we can throw back and forth in the organizing group. Um, how about, uh, plan B, something just bigger. The bridge has four main support foundations, and if you would attach enough explosives to like one of those pillars, the whole thing comes down. The bridge would work fine. Hey, okay, listen, if we get to it tonight, it'll be hurt. It's not going to find all. <laughs> not explosives. It's not dangerous. Well, I mean, the history of America, I'm making is how you teach truth to power, right? We are out of options. We have few. We all want to stop this pipeline, right? To destroy it. So shouldn't we be fighting back? Come on, right? I mean, fortune favors the bold, right? What, you're on board with this? You on board with the bridge? I want to do this. Okay, it's okay. Come on. David, Eric, why do you have to it? Um, he told me Ruby, and maybe I'll look like a lunatic. Hey, what do you mean you hurt? Why can't I change plan this? We can build something. Can you share your plan? It's the biggest assignment. It's the biggest assignment. Bro does. Okay, but how do I recover this with my group? You don't. We're gonna get paperwork right now, right? You, 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 are you pulling me out? Are you pulling me out? Listen to me. We're not done here, okay? There is more. We are not done. Start working on your exit plan. You need to get your head back in the game. Okay, where the hell are you? Where are you? I have to keep Jones alive, Mike. Especially right now. It's, it's just everything is so fast. You haven't commenced your exit plan? No. No, I haven't. We're moving to the second phase, so we can round up all your Detroit friends and everyone who's on that boat. It's gonna look like a well-organized operation. No, not Ava. Not Ava, Mike. She's on the boat. No, no, Mike! Mike! Ava was a means to an end! Oh, okay, man, what about brainstorm? You need to start following protocol. No, this is a huge mistake, Mike! I'm telling you, no. Listen. Listen to me, David. Okay? We are the ones up holding on order. We want to keep the darkness back. The irony of this job is that the pull those laws, we're the ones sometimes have to bend them. If we bend them, we don't break them. I've been doing this for a long time, and I've made my men contort and twist themselves in all manner of ways. But none of them are broken. Please don't be first. Okay, I'll review the exit plan. I'm so, just letting you know this week it's all for your chat, so... Others no, no, I do not want that. I do not want that, okay? Okay, okay, I'll turn it off, but you... No, no, just screen. turn it off! Okay. Just you and me. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just, everything's really screwed up right now, okay? My girlfriend's pregnant, and, I, and, I, and I'm gonna have to leave her, and my wife is definitely gonna go home. I know it. I'm getting fucked right now, and I just need you, okay? It's, sounds pretty messed up. Things have a way of working yeah. out. No, I had a way of working out. I don't know. What? Well, if half the stuff that you told me is true, then... I don't know the other stuff. What? Well, you would judge me. Hmm? Yeah. Well, I... You don't know anything about I know me. you like grammatics. Hmm? I know your favorite food is rare steak, but it has to be cooked in butter. You're a good listener, except when you stoned your family is from French. Your favorite movie is Lady Eve. You do yoga on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and you want to run a marathon. I even told you I would run one with you. Hmm? France. Yeah, for a smart guy, you're very stupid. I'm sorry, I, 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 I don't okay, know well, what to anymore. Too bad, I just paid for more time. Okay. Hmm. Do you see this thing here? That thing protects me. It doesn't protect you. So, with one click, I can ban you from my channel, and you're out of my life. Click. Yes, thank you. All right. I think we all know now what happened in Convergence, how that went down. I think going forward, what we need to do is decide as a group if we want to try and organize something else around the bridge plan, or maybe we don't need the boat here. All right, we got right up in that area on the boat, but we back now. We need to set this back there. The pipeline is done. We need to be in front of the next big. No, that's bullshit, man. We need to act on this now, on the pipeline. Otherwise, I really I don't understand what we're doing. My parents said that we need help to make this thing safe. Yeah. This one's enough. Yeah, we've already talked. I know. If this is what you wanted to blow up a bridge, okay. Uh, no, let's not. I mean, look, let's let's everybody just like take a deep breath, okay? We're all trying to accomplish the same thing here, and arguing is. Damn it. Hi. Who, uh, who's this? I'm Karen. I'm Fred Davis. We used to date back in California, but that's in history now. You must be Ava. You know why I'm a... Are you Elvis mom? No, no. Not in the way. Who's Elvis? David. Karen. This is not okay. Sorry, honey. 
Yeah, we're gonna talk about this outside. I like surprises. That was odd. Well, you know what? Your timing was good, because I'm pretty sure David was about to tell us we're all terrible activists. Yeah. Stop talking about the bridge because he came back with convergence. Yeah, um, thanks for the answer. I'm uh, so sorry. She's talking about She's talking about her Facebook. 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 She's talking about Uh, no, don't do that. Okay, don't do that. What you did yesterday was totally unprofessional. You could have blown up the whole operation. The operation is to extract you and no, from Mike the Mike does not understand the situation on the ground. Mike has more experience with this stuff than his little pinky than we do in our whole bodies, okay? He has a long perspective. He sees the future. Do you want to continue this at your apartment? No, I don't. Okay, you come over here. Someone's going to smoke a rat. Okay, do you get it? I'm sympathetic. It's hard yeah. to build up a cover like this and then say goodbye to it. For her. Excuse me, but what are you implying? Hmm? You know how many people I've slept with just after just, 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 totally I've been this close to lodging a internal complaint on this mission, but I want to sell my career down and Mike's the kingmaker. Okay, okay. so, wait, what are you saying? Are you threatening me? Is that a threat? Hmm? Is that a threat? If the girl will kill the story, what? what we do is protect it. You get it? Does that mean you're screwing your mark? Uh, do I ask you about your family? Hmm? No, I don't have one, David. Yeah. Ambitious female agents don't get to take that box. Listen, we're going to meet at a diner off the highway of Bellevue Link in one hour. We're going to talk, and if anyone sees us, you're going to slap me and storm out. You get it? Oh, Mike? Yeah. That place has terrible coffee. Well, fidelity, fidelity bravery, okay. integrity, well, terrible coffee. Terrible coffee. Hello? No, 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 even better. Do yourself right now. Now, David, stop, please. When did you become such a prude? Come on, David. When did you get up in the morning? Imagine I'm there in the passenger seat. Hey, David, can you please stop on? I know you're hard, David. Come on, Pookie. Come on. David, please don't call me Pookie again, my little. Just take a little bit. David, there's someone in the apartment. What? What are you talking about? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Listen to me, Ava. You're gonna be okay, alright? Honey, listen to me, Ava. You're gonna be okay, alright? Honey, honey, listen to me. Don't struggle with them, alright? I promise you, you're gonna be okay. I promise you, babe. Just listen to me. Listen to my voice. Motherfucker. No. It's totally over the top. That's why I love you. You feel terrorized, the binding! You didn't terrorize me, it's you. Pregnant woman, she says? Why didn't you know that in any of your reports? You didn't guns, okay? You didn't even kick in the door! When she started fraternizing respect terrorists, she surrendered her weight courtesy. Okay, my name didn't know it was in every walk-in. It's bullshit, Mike! It's bullshit! It's my apartment! It was by the book, David. You know what? If you'd been more involved, maybe it would've been different. You knew this was supposed to be something I'm Oh, yeah? Yeah. Where are you? I'm scared to open your curtains. Are you... Where are you? I'm, uh... I'm going away, okay? What? They're, they're, they're after me, and uh, this isn't going to end well. But you haven't done anything. We haven't done anything, David. We don't have to run from they, this. They have something on me, honey. Uh, well, they will. You know, they raided the apartment. Uh, Peter must have mad enough. You got a Simon guy, and I can't let this happen to you again, so... David, you can't leave me in the No, that is the last thing that I want, okay, Ava? Just tell me where you are. I'll pack my things. No. I'll meet you there. No, listen, I'm running in order to save you. Can you not see that? I don't need okay? saving! Don't, don't be naive right now. Come on, Ava. Yeah, you told my mom. Listen, uh, I need you to do me a favor, okay? I need you to, uh, I need you to go to the medicine cabinet, okay? Medicine Yeah, in the, in, in the bathroom, okay? Just, Why? Uh, just go there, just, just go there, okay? There's a, what am I looking for? There's a, uh, there's a false back to the mirror, just pull the panel aside, okay? Okay, okay. Muddy? Yeah, I, What is this? Look, Ava, I, I know, I know you said you, um, you wanted a home birth, but we just, we just look at St. Joe's, you know, take a tour and, um, I, I made a, a reservation for you. Yeah. Ava. Where are you? You look like a cow. <laughs> yeah, I feel like a cow. I shave the beard and try some glasses with it too. How are you doing? Why don't you tell Come me on, Ava, please. I've already been over this. Are you still my mom? That I would never, never be second pet to a guy. I would go out into the world and blaze my own trail. And here I am, crying over you. I'm sitting in a bar, asking my unborn child what is going through her daddy's head. That's not how I wanted things to go. That money that you left, David, was an insult. I don't want your money. Uh, I'm sorry, Cole. I just wanted to see your face. <laughs> it's my face. Mama! Hi, sweetie. Are you at Nina's house? Yes. I'm just going through all her old things to see if there's anything special we want to keep. To help her remember them? Yeah. Hey, you know, she had a lot of photos of you. She really loved you. 
<laughs> this is my room I lived in when I was your age. These are my old tennis trophies. Maybe you'll win some of these yourself someday. I think she was happiest when I was a little girl. She always loved to remember that. Mama, there's one here with my name. <gasps> How so? Daddy's cooking tofu dogs and I hate them. I want no sausage eggs! No. <laughs> and the other children are older than me. They keep telling me what to do. Well, you remember to tell them that you don't like that. Okay, don't let them push you around. Sure. Where are we going? Kiss Daddy. Oh, no, oh, she's okay. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you, honey. Wait. Hey, how's it going? Hey, it's okay. Just clearing out all of Mama's old crap. She kept everything. She's only on the yearbook. Yeah. Feels invasive. Going through all her private stuff. Not keeping any of it, or? I don't know, it's just all personal things. Just her underwear, okay. her hairbrushes. Uh, Elba's enjoying the barbecue and everyone's here. Oh, here, hold on. Hey, everyone, say hi to Emma. No, 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 no. Hear no. hey, that. Hi, everyone. Did you really need to do that? You told me you were going to have a quiet weekend at home. You're showing off my kids. I'm going to She's my kid, too. <sighs> the weather's always nice in California. Look, I got a lot of boxes. I feel like I gotta go. Hi there, 91. Let me know what you'd like to do with me. Good. I bet you'd give it to me. Did I do something wrong? I'm sorry, Daddy. What can I do to make it up to you, huh? Tell me. This is 100% natural. Just like my tits. <laughs> what the hell are you using this number for? You're no longer employed. It's 2 a.m. DWP van walked down the street. That's fascinating. Two of them were fixing the power to the DWP van. Give me the fucking DWP van and fucked up some streams. Okay? And this office is over. Why are you laughing me, watch? Hmm? I gotta kiss sleep in the other room. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, man. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna stick this service pistol. It's the temple that drives out, so he tells me who opened it. You got it? David? David, that's a very stupid idea, because there's only so many times an agent can wave his pistol at a civilian before he's about to be an agent. Is that a threat? Is this, this is just my fault. I'm gonna save you, David, there's something about this. Come on, I'm fucking doing this. I started this new yoga program, and I'm feeling so much more flexible. I want to win a marathon, and I need to get a cheap. Want to help me work out? Hit me up on a private show. Let's get loosened up together. Mm. All right, Carl, you just hold on and don't take me for a second. I just want to say something. Okay? Look, I, look, I just wanted to say that I've changed. Okay, you, you were right. Uh, they, they put me on medical leave. But I'm, I'm, I am done with the bureau. And, and I just, all I'm thinking now is I want to make right by people. You know, and I want, I want us to be right. I right? both our jobs, they mess with our heads. And I mean, there's, huh, there's something real here. We have to understand. It, so. There's something real here. Yeah. You really don't understand, David. None of this is real. <laughs> okay. This, this isn't a bedroom. These are the sounds of New York City. Welcome to Cleveland, David. The suburbs. I'm from Ohio. I've always lived in Ohio. I used to work in real estate. I own two apartments, both underwater, and mortgages kill me. My husband is a loading dock supervisor, and he's in my way. As long as I tell him how pathetic and lonely and strange my clients are, I only do this so I don't have to go to school and become a medical transcriptionist. So every day I log on here and hang out with you assholes when I could be doing anything else. And I massage your egos and let you jerk off. And sometimes I shake you down because well. you know, Melissa. Melissa? Melissa. Melissa isn't my real name, but I know yours is David. When a man shares cam, I always record it as a safety precaution, and sometimes a bigger if they deserve blackmail. Bank managers really don't want their wives to see their perverted emails. I have all your sessions saved on a hard drive under federal agent David. You ever can with me again. I will send them to your bosses. I will sell them to whatever newspaper pays the most. <sighs> I think we're done here. Dada! Hey, hey, babe. Where are you? Oh, I'm, I'm in a hotel tonight. Oh, you want a body mission? Yeah, something like that. Can't sleep when you're not home. Oh, you're, you got Chloe though, right? I can't find Chloe. I lost her. No, you did? Oh, well, hey, let me, let me show you a joke, okay? Knock, knock. Who's there? Uh, Alba. Alba who? <laughs> um, Alba right back, and you just stayed right there. Sneak, sneak, sneak. For God's sake, David. Emma. I don't get to sneak back in okay. I just want to know. Emma, I thought you I wasn't finished. I need you to understand the rules going forward. Yeah, Alba needs me. She managed just fine without you for a year. Recitals, first teeth, you were fine missing all that. Yeah, you need me. I've always protected you. How? How have you protected me? Go on, say it. You killed a man. I killed a man to protect you. And we murdered him, and it wasn't to protect you. hurt you. And you've never laid a hand no, on me. I've never. Yeah, well, you didn't have to, did you? Because that's what the gun in the badge are for. Why are you doing this now? You really earned your wings that day. Stop. Didn't you? You got your gun off. You had your first blood. Just, they really just stop. It's clean. Shoot it. Shoot it. Why not? Because I can. <laughs> you waited in your car outside before you came in. I never told you that. But I want you to know that I knew. Hey, let's play dolls. This is Emma. 
She's a 25-year-old nurse. Oh, here's Paul. He's an accountant. He wanted to be a professional tennis player, but he was only the 10th best tennis player in his state, so sometimes he hits people to make himself feel like he still has that killer serve. Emma meets Paul at work when he comes in to have a torn wrist ligament looked at. This is David. He is a gorgeous young FBI agent. And Emma meets him at work too, where he is very chivalrous and steps in when a drunk patient in the ER calls her a bitch. So Emma stops dating Paul. She's dating David now. But Paul keeps getting drunk and calling Emma up and telling her that he loves her and sometimes that he hates her. And so David, wait a second. David starts watching over Emma's apartment. Every night after they go on a date, a handsome FBI agent sits outside in his car and watches over her while she sleeps. Very romantic. David doesn't know that Emma knows this, and she doesn't tell him. But you know, it does help her sleep at night. She feels, she feels safe. So one night after they go out for ice cream, Paul calls and says he wants to come over. And Emma tells him to come, thinking that David will scare Paul off, and that will be that. But when Paul turns up, David waits in the car. And when Emma goes to answer the door, Paul pushes his way in. He argues with her, and he cries, and he rants, and he raves. And Emma gives him a hug, because she's a nurse, and that's what nurses do when men cry. And that's when David gets out of his car and comes into the apartment with his pistol drawn. And when he opens the door and he sees Paul and Emma, he doesn't look handsome anymore. He looks angry. Paul steps back, and he looks scared. And Emma looks scared, too. And David fires his pistol, and he shoots Paul in the lung. It takes Paul about ten minutes to die. Emma could have helped stop the bleeding, and maybe he could have lived, but David tells her not to. It was unlikely that Paul would need it. And sometimes David points out it's better just to let the bad guys die. After watching the guy bleed out together, they get married. That helps make things make sense. Even so, Emma is sure that she'll be scared of David forever driving and ever. I saw his car parked on the street outside. I went straight into the apartment. He was grabbing you and I feared for your life. You waited because you wanted to save me. You wanted to be a fucking knight in shining armor. You look so small on the screen. I love you. I love you, David. But I'm not scared of you anymore. Goodbye. It's been a while. <laughs> look, I do freeze all <laughs> What can I do for you? I uh, need you to track a girl down for me. I know people. They're not in business anymore. They're not there, right? Okay. Question. No, man. No, you do not. No. Okay. Okay. Cleveland, Ohio, we have a photo that I'm sending you a signal. Your name is Max, but what I need is Nick Plus. You do that. Yeah. yeah. The guy, no. I mean, he's, he's totally off the grid. <laughs> he started up hacking the Facebook pages of his like teachers in high school. He's graduated bigger and better. Hey, Harry. He has a secret door. He has a, listen, he has a secret door into the DMV database. I'm just telling you. He's the guy. Okay. No flags. No flags. Uh, look, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to give it to me. Yeah, you uh, I need these files. Okay. But you know how much time you can do for, uh, exploring a federal agent, right? That's supposed to scare me. You wanna talk about this in court? You think I tell dirty stories on my show? Wait till I get on stand. I need you to delete the files next. Okay. Text. Maxine. Maxine Williams, right? Mm -hmm. Your parents know what you do. Maxine Williams. Okay. Now he's trying to blackmail who? Okay, Max. Mm -hmm. 
Y dentro de Sí. Mine's bigger than yours. <laughs> oh, I have to stand your ground, Steve. Hmm. Always want to see this. Fuck! You fucking kill this bitch who shot me! It's crazy! I sent those videos Stop. yesterday. Hmm? It'll take about a week before they can hear back me more, but you said, start working on the joining us. Okay, I'm leaving you, okay? Don't worry. I rang the cop before I let you in. I'll be here soon and I can take you to the ER. Do I hate law enforcement guys? I can't believe I invited a bunch of them over. I've got some proper clothes on. Yeah, are you okay? In here? No, no, no. Officers, officers, I'm, I'm so glad I'm here. He broke into my house and tried to attack me. Sir, don't move. Sir, I am I am reaching for a badge. I'm a federal agent, okay? Okay? Do you see that? I'm supposed to talk to you guys like this. You heard what we got in Michigan. You arrested them all, huh? You know, if you want to talk, we can have another conversation about what they'll happen in Cleveland. And you can feed me a line again, and I can explain to you how much it personally hurt me. I've cleaned this myself. All these years, Mike, I have been loyal to the bureau above all else. What? I've been up Knife can lose his edge, but he can be sharp again. I told you not to arrest them. They'll walk. Yeah, because you used my reports, and then the judge threw it out, and now they know that there's a traitor. You're not blinding. Captain Chelsea, there, because all of a sudden he gave up information, walking down the state collaboration on. And no one's gonna go looking for David Jones. Because David Jones is dead. Good. My bad, my David Smith back. You know how to make a really good knife? They heat and they cool the metal several times over, and it sorts and warps, and then they hammer it, and grind it, and polish it. And only at the very end is the perfect knife emerge. The forge process it actually rearranges the atoms of the steel, makes it stronger. You can come out of the stronger, David. There's a myth that hands with knives are better, but actually these days the machine ones are far superior and like more reliable. Right? You know a lot about knives. Have a nice vacation, David. David Jones here. Uh, I've been off the grid for a little while. Um, honestly, I was running. And I guess I thought by running it would mean that people I love would stay safe, you know? And selfishly, I guess I thought it would mean that I'd stay safe. But, you know, there's one thing I've learned from being on the road is that you can't run from what you believe in. Okay, because when you run, you, know, you lose it all. Running's dangerous. I'm back, okay? And I'm ready for action. And I am taking on Prosperin. And I'm not gonna stop as long as I live. Okay, because water is life. All right, hit me up, A-square friends. Hey. Hey. So you're staying at Eric's? Yeah, someone I can trust. He's been a true friend. Yeah, nice. Can I see her? She's sleeping. Hey, Jane. Hi. Call me her. Yeah, it's Jane? No. Wait, what did you call her? I'm not gonna tell you. Why are you back here, David? Everything I was here for you is gone. You know, fucking FBI raided, assault organizing group's gone. They were asking about you. I didn't know why I had to run, you know? No, Eric didn't run. They made it out like he was a leader of some terrorist cell. He spent two weeks in jail. I'm sorry, I'm ready to be better. I'm going after Prosperin and, and the, uh, the Sovereign. That, that fight is over. You can disappear, David. You should stay disappear. I don't want you here. And we don't need you. Hey, how you doing? How's Good, yeah. <laughs> nice weather. It's gorgeous, huh? That's a it's cute baby, wasn't it? Star? Star? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Hey, Star. That's a, that's a nice name. It's a, a baby. Hey, 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 do you mind not? Sorry. Me, sir. David, I told you Ava, to stay away. Ava, I just want to see you, okay? No, no, you don't get to see her. Listen to me, this is a public place, okay? Get away before I call the police. I want to help you, okay? Go. Officer, Ava, come officer, on. this man is bothering us. Please, go, go. Hello, everybody. Rose Red here. And hello to my regulars. Hostiles, play nice. No punches, no humiliation requests, and no recording the show. No cams, no gifts, no emails, no intimate conversations. And check out the tip menu and wish list below. That's it. Let's have fun. So, today, the weather is freezing in New York. And I was thinking, we can get cozy, warm each other up, because you deserve it. Hey, Cardinals 81. Oh, Cardinals 89. <laughs> Hi, Hungry Peter. Me too. I love the beach when it's hot. Hi, guest. No, 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 no. I am a East Village girl. Yes, I moved here when I was young to become a ballet dancer, but it didn't work out. But I still don't, so... You mentioned yes, I'm at a big holiday party and I need some fireworks. Okay, but not the wow people, all right? Yeah, I gotta ask, what are you gonna do with this? My right. I know you're cool and I know that you pay and it's reliable, but I don't want to eat yeah, it. Nothing is gonna link back to you, okay? I, better hey, listen to me. You just make sure you guys leave it in the dead drop, like I told you, okay? Sure. Wait, you okay. can trust okay. me, right? Here? You just trust me? Sure. Sure. Yeah, I trust you. Me. Me, me. I trust you, David. Good. That's good. I trust you. That's good. My guy, I found your Max. He said that you showed up in a police report. Next day, the report. I know I told you I take care of things, okay? I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah. I've got a wife, David. Yeah, I've got a daughter. It's Daddy. Yeah, oh, I miss you. You too, babe. I'm really tired. Can I have a bedtime, sure. Zoe? Yeah. Can you tell me what's Lincoln again? Oh, uh, you mean I'm um, Rumpelstiltskin? Yes, okay. that was. Is, um, is Mama still there? No, she went yeah. to a room. I guess I'll uh, be good later. Okay. Um. So, once upon a time, there was a girl who had long, long blonde hair that people said looked like gold. 
Can we get like? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, there was a girl called Emma, like Mama. Okay, so Emma, <clears throat> she has long blonde hair, and she really wants to marry the prince. But she's just a farmer's daughter. Right? But one day the king comes riding through her village to water his horses, and she hears about it. And so she urges her father to go to the king and boast about his daughter and her long, beautiful hair. And while he's doing that, she quickly throws on some of her best jewelry. But then her father stands before the king. He gets really nervous and he misspeaks and he tells the king that his daughter can spin straw to gold. And the king is intrigued. He asks the girl, "To confirm, is this true? Can you spin straw to gold?" But she wants to win the king's favor. So Emma says, "Yes, yes, I can spin gold from straw." The king's no fool, so he decides to call the bluff and he proposes a challenge. If you can turn straw to gold, you may marry my son, the prince. But if not, you will be exiled, which means kicked out. But Emma, she's unable to refuse such an offer, so she accepts. And the king takes her to his castle and he locks her into a, one of his towers. And there, in the tower room, is a spinning wheel with a large pile of straw. And he says he'll return in the morning to see if she can actually spin this straw into gold. Well, Emma, she spends all night trying to think of some excuse or you know clever way to get out of this situation. But as dawn approaches, nothing. She really starts to worry, and that is when a strange man appears. And he asks her if she has a wish. She says, I wish uh, to turn this straw into gold. And he says, I can do that, but you must give me your necklace. Well, the girl quickly takes off her necklace, and the imp sits at the, at the spin wheel and starts to spin and spin, and he spins all of the straw into a large pile of golden thread. And then there's a knock at the door, and it disappears, and the king comes in, and he sees the small pile of gold, and he's amazed, but he's a little suspicious. So he moves the girl to a second tower, and this time there's a much larger pile of straw. Okay, and again, it's the same challenge. You spin that straw into gold, marry the prince. If not, you get out of the kingdom. And yet again, just by morning, the girl, she waits, and again, there's nothing. She can't do it. But right then, that imp appears again, and this time he asks for her ring. And so she gives him a ring, he sits down, he spins that much larger pile of straw into gold, and boom, disappears right at dawn, right before the king walks in. Love him. Sorry for what happened. Yeah, for all of it. I lied to everyone. <laughs> the truth, the truth is gonna come out, but I, I need, I need to say. Sure. government and, and, and corporations have let them happen. We've all let them happen. Strong men like me have let them happen. I've done a lot of bad things. Um, I'm going to do something right now. a partner who's strong and good and real. Hey, buddy. You are, you will always be something special. I'm gonna run a marathon now, Maxine. That, that matters. I want 
want to dedicate this act to my children, Albert and Star. I just, I only wish that the two of you grow up the final world is a little bit better than the one leaving. I never watched the video David made, and I didn't attend the inquiry. I like to pretend that the bomb erased him in the past and in the present. It'll take a while for me to figure out how a real relationship works, but in the meantime, I keep busy, making a name for myself as a journalist for the Detroit Free Press. When I'm 37, I'll move in with a school teacher named Jaden who was born on the same day as me. Star never stops being special. Mom is right. I am pretty special. And when I turn 18, my grandma will try to tell me about my dad and I will stop her. Shush, grandma, I'll say. I'm happy. When we heard what David did, I took out my wedding ring and threw it into the ocean. I will never watch the video he left for us. I don't remarry. In a few years' time, I will decide I don't need to be a nurse anymore and will start teaching tennis to girls. I will stay fit and always look 10 years younger than I am. Alba will leave home at 18 and do exactly what she wants to do. Mom is right. At 18, I will leave home and do exactly what I want to do. At 40, I will have a child of my own. I will write a hundred names on pieces of paper and then put them in a bag and let her pick hers out. I don't believe in karma, but after I shot that FBI agent, the market picks up and I end up selling my two apartments and making a profit. I briefly think about going back into real estate, but you know, fuck that. Instead, I will move to New York and set up my own cam agency. We won't make much money, but we'll never lose much money either. And everyone will get paid what they're worth. And when I'm 40, I will release my first novel under my real name. It will be a success. And when I die at 84, the obituaries will remember me only as a novelist who wrote crime fiction with strong female leads. <sighs> I hate that phrase and will turn in my grave.